But they have a uh, they have a their opening song is actually a uh, ACDC hit. Really? You should go out to that song. <laughs> you sure it's not the Ozzy song? The one of them has Ozzy too. No, but um, that Black Sabbath song you come out to, boy, that, like you said, we all have our opening music that we come out to, except for me and all the other pros who just kind of, <laughs> when, whatever, so shut yeah, I know face, it is. stupid. Well, if you're going to have an opening song, it would be Taps. <laughs> taps. Yeah, because you're going to die. <laughs> I don't, that would be funny if I was sick. <laughs> No, I mean on stage, stupid. Oh, uh, And it's funny because my friends all laugh at it. They're <laughs> laughing because you delivered it like a sitcom expectation. <laughs> How would you know what a sitcom sounds like? Oh. <laughs> wow, what a slam. You're right, Jim. My goal was never reached. Shut up. And then what else did you, uh, He was just smashing you well. <laughs> I smashed you, him for coming out to Black Sabbath because yeah. I realized Voss coming out to Paperback Rider is just as ludicrous as this nerd coming out to a Black Sabbath song. What song do you come out to? No, you don't, he doesn't come out to this. No. Look, Jimmy's all upset because this has happened to him in clubs before, where they play the wrong oh, song. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and Jimmy loses his mind. No, they get the, he, to him, the this CD. Like, I bring a CD. This is yeah. sellout, Black Sabbath. Right. Man, I don't go for this. I like Paranoid, but I wouldn't walk out. Yeah, what song no, do you come out, out to again? Uh, I forget. I forgot the war stage. No, he no, doesn't. Oh, uh, hack. It's the most... A national of... acrobat. Oh, is that it? Yes. It's off Sabbath, buddy, Sabbath. What do you think, uh, of course, they don't Ozzy think. would, of course, what do you think Ozzy would think if I told him the other day how you were vehemently defending at, at, at the risk of your own life, you were vehemently defending, uh, you know, uh, The Stranger and the rest of Billy's great soundtrack, oh. his whole collection. Billy Joel? Yeah. I, I like Billy Joel. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Shut your mouth. Just because he and I have the same booking agent? I mean, why wouldn't I like oh, him? Oh, there oh, you that's go. Why. He doesn't want to burn bridges. <laughs> no, like that him. wasn't it. He really said it sincerely. I like him. I yeah. think he's good, yes. He's not bad. He actually wakes up sometimes to come out in Virginia and then does like five <laughs> push-ups. Gets himself excited. <laughs> so he can fancy himself a badass who's trying to corrupt a Catholic school girl. <laughs> I, I do like Billy Joel. <laughs> wow. Kind of puts you in a different category, though, if you like, in the old uh, Ozzy, old Sabbath, Billy Joel. Right. No, like, not at all. Kind of like uh, Paperback Writer. <laughs> I love the Paperback Writer, but I wouldn't walk out to it. That's a yeah. At least the Sabbath song I walk out to is a great walkout song. It's a great walkout song for the right person. But For you, me, I'm a big Sabbath fan. Quiet. No. It's not about you. It's about the image. Because when you hear the music, you want to see like either some hot, like leather clad, like Lita Ford... Not that I'm 90 years old. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my That's God. You just chick you could yank out. You just blew the whole thing by referencing <laughs> Lita Ford. Ford. That really sexy Mae West. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough to know that that's true, and now I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I'm finished. See, this is why one of the worst bands in the country was Sarin Gas. Really? Yeah, that could have been used to great effect just yesterday. lob a few uh, into the crowd. Oh, uh, bands. Mm -hmm. They said one of the worst bands. No, I didn't. To come out to as a uh, comic? No, I, didn't, I didn't know what he meant. I, was like, oh. I, heard, I thought I heard bands, too. Yeah, yeah, I think he said one of the worst bands. I'm like, who? Well, bands. Let's not get into details. It's, <laughs> it's really not worth going back over. <laughs> hey, are you doing a... I have a question for you. They're doing a tsunami benefit at the comic strip. I told them I would plug it. Are you doing it? They asked. They wanted to know if you were doing it. And so you chose to confront me on, on the, the air. air. Why don't oh. you call my agent? Do I have them go professionally instead of jumping All right. on my face? Stupid. David Tell, Jim Gaffigan, Judy Gold, and Jim Florentine. A comic oh, strip Tuesday oh, night. Okay, okay Jimmy. Shut your you, mouth. No, I'm plugging it for you. Drop it. 212-861-9386. <laughs> What's wrong and, with doing a benefit, yeah, Carl? About, What's wrong I with don't you? believe in the tsunami victims. Oh. I'm against them. That's You're true. You're against them. Those yeah. in these so-called Holocaust victims are hiding somewhere <laughs> together. <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of with Colin on that whole thing. Yeah. I think a lot of that aid is going to come and bite us in the ass because it's going to be uh, money that's taken by a lot of these Muslim groups over there yeah. and uh, used against us. Let them plot. stop talking to all Marines so snotty, and maybe they'll get a buck out of me. There maybe. you go. Yep. <laughs> well, J Jim's going to do the benefit, though, right? I don't know. If maybe. you get back from Washington. Oh, it now it's I don't know. If I'm back from D.C. Shut up, front runner. I was always up in the air about that. Anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. First of all... I love how the I love her insightful uh, example of how to get over addiction. Go to the gym downstairs, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Norton. He's going to end up in steam rooms, letting guys walk. I mean, I don't understand. It. And second of all, what kind of family? What did you do to that poor woman? She's like, don't be mad, don't be mad, but please don't sleep with too many prostitutes. <laughs> Got her on the short. What's, what kind of codependent, awful, submissive? 
What don't do be that mad. One? Don't be mad. The father has beat her mercilessly. <laughs> don't be mad, Jimmy. I just, I'm your mother. Can I say don't sleep with prostitutes? Please. I, I mean, I know I'm out of line. <laughs> what kind of sick family is this? <laughs> Please, Jimmy, don't, don't, don't freak out, but could you not sleep with prostitutes in the days of AIDS? And <laughs> Colin Quinn, thanks for stopping by. Good evening. We're out of here. You're coming in. You Let are up in. early. Let me just explain one thing, because I understand. He just said, he told me, Opie was there. I saw him the other night. He goes, hey, man, come by the show this week. Yeah. Then Phony, which is what I'm calling Norton right now. Well, <laughs> he to me two nights ago. He goes, you should come by the show. Like, he wasn't sitting with us when you invited me. And the reason he did that, because I've been thinking about it all morning. I forgot. Yeah. The reason he did that yeah. is because instead of being what he is, a self-centered ass that doesn't remember his, to call his friends, or even tell Benji to call me. He actually wanted to say, hey, I told the guy to stop by, and he even said it just now. <laughs> Shut up, filthy concept. That's not true. Ben yes, said to me, true. Ben said to me Collins here. What am I going to say? He's an, an ass who couldn't sleep? I'm like, well, he's invited me. <laughs> oh, you're going to say Opie invited him, and I jumped on the bandwagon because I'm a phony. God, well, I, Opie wants always to be invites you. I Shut think... up. You're not magnanimous. Can you sit down at least and put your stupid headphones on? What are you doing up so early? <laughs> I, I, I What happened was I fell asleep for a couple of hours. But then I was like, I kind of woke up, and I was like, wait a minute, Opie invited me on the show. <laughs> Opie did. And then Norton added his half-hearted tooth. I just wanted to remind you. You didn't act, you didn't say, like Opie said, you should come on, you like, you should come on the show more. Well, I'm glad you did. It wasn't an original idea. <laughs> well, come on the show? How's that going to be an original idea? So if Ant says it, he's stealing from Opie? Shut up, stupid. Ooh, ooh, tell him, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> then the other night, I get in the call with Norton, he draws me home from the cellar. And, you know, I mean, never mind his sex life and all the disgusting... Unsanitary, but his car is pretty funky too. It's like not nice. It's very. That's I, not true. It's a fine no, Saturn. No, it's not like if he was a, if he was a compulsive. He acts like he's a compulsive like germaphobe, but his house, his car, it's not really that clean. Right. So I go in the car. I lean. I go like this to sneeze. And I sneeze on my own shoulder. He's driving over there, and he goes, "Hey, you fucking disgusting!" Mo but he was what? dead serious. He goes, "You fucking disgusting pig! Well, cover your cover your mouth when you do that." It's really fucking disgusting. That's not true. Made the rest. You're dead. No, this I is, swear you to God, just, it's true. You didn't just turn your head. First of all, that he's got a head like a Stonehenge fucking statue. <laughs> he fucking turns it a quarter inch. <laughs> all over the car stuff sprays. You act like, like a light up. You're not a 75-year-old woman. You didn't just turn it. It was, like a, it was like a Jessica Tandy sneeze. It was <laughs> not. It was a delicate flower sneeze. And this idiot really starts cursing me out, but he's dead. I promise you. Of course you, he was. No joking. Would you want that in your vehicle? If somebody sneezed, would I just your cover, you cover your mouth? I would want them to cover their mouth. Uh, of course. Or, see, it all depends on how much he turned his head. Because I kind of like the uh, sneeze in his like shoulder this. thing. Because then it's not on your hand. Can you imagine? Here we are talking to men. like shoulder? Two men's men's talking, right? And he actually starts cursing me out, going, "You fucking like, you know, just turns the whole mood just inappropriate. It was uncomfortable." I don't want to get sick. I'm he'll, trying to he'll, he'll put his out. tongue up a hooker's ass in Brazil, but know. but Colin sneezes. It, and if, it all depends on the car too. You know, the car. Your, your car has seen some things, Jimmy. Yeah, it's really inappropriate. It was it was an uncomfortable mood, and it made me realize. Jamie, there's something really creepy about him. I'm sick of your little quirks. I just You're not big enough to have all these little quirks. <laughs> I have little quirks. Oh, I just don't want to get sick. Shut you your sneezed. mouth. And you're also not big enough to invite me on O and A to begin well, with. I'm glad you're listening. You're a Come on, wheel. <laughs> you're I'm more than. You're not more than that. When you leave, I might hop in. <laughs> Bless you, sweetie. Oh, B. I wish I could. You're sneezing that. all over and the Jimmy's place. Car. Oh, why don't you cover your? Why don't you cover your mouth, Jesus? Jimmy's <laughs> Opie can so sneeze where Opie wants. Exactly, coward. Now Opie can sneeze me. at me in my car. Like, ah, thanks a lot. If Tough Crowd was still that. on, you would have let that sneeze slide. I, I would have rolled both windows up and enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Carl? Can I get you a lozenge? <laughs> From what I hear, uh, after the Who's performance, which I heard was stellar. Very good job. The Who got out there and really rocked it, Jimmy. I know you're not a big Who fan. I like some of their stuff. I just but uh, uh, Who Who the Who the best. Shut up, it. old man. They're not the best. They're He's... twenty times better than Ozzy and Black They're Sabbath. They're not. Shut who, your mouth. Who 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 Who? <laughs> the Who are amazing. You're an idiot. They really are amazing. Ah, ch -ch 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 <laughs> They're very overrated. They are not. They're overrated. great. Overrated. They're what's a legendary a good, band. I understand. What's a good Who song? Name we'll me one. I'll tell you what's not Bob a good. Uh, Iron Man is not a good Who song. I know Stupid. it's not. It's a great Sabbath song. Shut up. There's like 50 great Who songs. There's not. A lot of hits. And he's very, he doesn't like Tommy 
the rock the opera. Rock opera. The rock. Great. It's douchey. It's not great. No one enjoys the rock it's opera. Douchey. I love it. Well, again, exactly. Even the overture. Dun, 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 Isn't that crazy? Uh, dun, 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 you know how many times I had to play the Tommy CD yeah. on Christmas morning instead of celebrating that with uh, Christmas with my family back in Tommy, the day? Tommy. Tommy. That was another rock. He doesn't like us. He reminds himself of Tommy, a staple. molested freak. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Tom, yeah. Wasn't Tommy a movie too? Didn't they do a film about Tommy? Yeah, yeah. yeah it wasn't very exactly. good. But was they how about Quadrophenia? Quadrophenia was really good. Yeah, yeah, great. Eminence Front. How about Oz? I never Sox. liked Eminence Front. <laughs> Eminence Front. I never liked that song. They had a lot of. Hits My generation's there. a nice song. They have some good stuff. I'm not saying they're, they're terrible. Yeah. They're I great. Think they're you have no taste. I have pre- a fantastic taste. So I guess the Who is out of retirement again is what we're getting at. Yeah, yeah. And they're actually uh, putting out an album. Roger Daltrey looks like Dick Clark. He's so young. <laughs> <laughs> I say the Dead Monkey Hummer. I got your uh, the email. Uh, New York, fuck you, Norton, and that other faggot listener. Pete Townsend was found innocent of those charges. You misinformed cocksucker. And the who, to this day, blow that wet brain mumbling idiot Ozzy, O-Z-Z-S-Y, off the fucking stage. Ozzy Davis. Oh, that's not true. Do- Ozzy's profound. Just like witches and black masses, you 12-year-old. I had to like when I was five. Well, maybe uh, Ozzy should wear tight pants that show his cock off. Stupid Roger Daltrey, that fucking homoerotic he Brit. He damn good after I'm not saying years. it's not big and delicious. I just don't need to say <laughs> it. <laughs> The bottom line is you should do something with the porn set because that's the only time you're going to get on the air. Oh. CK's cutting you out. No, Louie's a big Shut fan. Up. You'll be back in nah, six weeks. I'll oh. be, doing, uh, be doing some filming out there. Yeah. You know how it is, a little show. Yeah. HBO. Yeah. All right. Nice. Thank God you're not studying acting. You're going to the gym because that's what you're hired for, your look. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's getting in shape for his HBO show. Yeah, that's what they hired you so you look, hey, Jim, you look good on the set. Awful. Oh. Why don't you take a class or two? No, I'm going to be taking them all through uh, all July and possibly August. We're going to have to go out till September now. So. What class? I'm just uh, brushing, brushing up on my acting. Brushing really? Up. Yes. We're, we're not losing the first you. coat. We're not losing. Just like witches and black masses, you 12 year old. <laughs> Meanwhile, Norton comes in here like, oh, what happened? Something in London? No, yeah, I you walk, had no, no, you had no idea. I didn't. That's why would I, then why would I walk in going, what happened? Something in London. It's why a matter your. Take off your shades. What? It's raining. It's the most overcast day. He walks and in. And he walks in shades at 6 in the morning. Can't help it. I want to be recognized and bothered. Find you know how it is. Somebody's fancy and popular. Colin just looks at him and goes, it's raining out and it's nighttime. <laughs> He's just <laughs> jealous because he can't find sunglasses that fit around that fat skull. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you dinosaur little baby pinhead. <laughs> Dino spots head. <laughs> He was just destroying you before you got here. I know. There's nothing worse than when you walk in and then you look in the glass and you see stupid Colin leaning and then you two just laughing and looking <laughs> as I walk in. It made like, yeah. <laughs> but you, made you know it's not here comes our friend Jimmy Norton. <laughs> Colin made it okay to have a big head today. Because obviously he has a big head. Yeah. But he's like, yeah, I know I have a big head. Who cares? And then he decides to <laughs> talk well, about how awful baby your, head. your head is. It's cute. <laughs> his small cute. head, though. He said he has a little, what did you say? A little Dinosaur little... baby head. <laughs> right. A like pinhead. Dino. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Dino from the Flintstones. He's got spots like Dino on his head. <laughs> I happen to resent that. Why don't you get those colored in? <laughs> Different colors on the liver spots. Come on. Don't you have a U.S. air flight to catch to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest insult of all from this idiot, because he goes up every gig with that serious, mock, serious tone. Like, anybody is that worried about him? Oh, continental. It's got him a continental. Or I'm not going. <laughs> Youngest fleet in the nation. Yes. Uh, well, next to JetBlue, but like, I'm talking of the majors, of course. Oh, the majors. The ones you can get first class in Absolutely. also. Absolutely. JetBlue, all, uh, uh, you know, everything's fine and dandy with JetBlue, but try to get a first class seat. I hope this is not taken the wrong way, but I hope you're on a continental flight and you get blown to smithereens. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. Sorry. Colin, we'll probably all be sharing that flight. <laughs> yes. No, you won't. Unless you mean blown in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Some chick just leans over. I enjoy you. Oh, oh, <laughs> Colin sent me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she gets oh, like bark. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I heard that <laughs> Colin was telling us that he was kind of like doing you on stage last night at the cellar or something. You were yeah, like, I was well, I was doing the the uh, pretentious pause, <laughs> the profound teacher on stage. I the profound teacher. <laughs> yes, Norton's gone a little bit far now, and I mean, and then when he went up. Idiotically, he hadn't watched my set, which is bad as a comedian. He should be studying the master. Why would I? I wanted to stay awake. And then he, uh, <laughs> and then it, when he went up, he actually did it even worse than usual. He goes, "I've been, uh, I've been lately. I've I moved to a new apartment." And it's like, the crowd's like, you know, time is money. These are ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we paid for a certain finite amount. 
<laughs> and I, uh, new part, and it's like, oh. <laughs> I just then he started like, slamming me, and they loved it. He started imitating me on stage, going, arr, arr. <laughs> I just leaned against the wall and mumbled. Yeah. The self-important idiot who you <laughs> couldn't quite understand, but you knew was saying something remotely funny. No, see, but I'm self-important, but at least I'm hurrying through my set. You're standing there like, you know, breathing in the air. You know what I mean? Like you're standing on a balcony in some <laughs> South American dictatorship. <laughs> You know, people, <laughs> you really are becoming a pompous ass. I have to pause when I'm, te when I'm testing material. I have to go very, very slow. That's yeah. how I do it. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, but that's how I do it. Ooh. Nice and slow. Yes, he is. Maybe He's... he can have some insight on this uh, story out he, of England. He and, his, he and his wife do all my merchandise, and they're very, very uh, capable, uh, qualified people. Yeah. Uh, they're more to that honest than you selling that drivel. Well, it was very accurate. That you call merchand merchandise implies a necessity. <laughs> it happens to be very, very popular stuff. <laughs> By the way, one of the bikers down there has a little uh, half ostrich shell cup for Norton to ride along in as a hatchling. <laughs> <laughs> as a hatchling. That's, that's great. <laughs> it's got to be a half. You can't put him in the hole one because he's already <laughs> lost his egg tooth that he chipped. <laughs> Chips out of the egg. Like this the whole trip he would just be stranded. <laughs> <laughs> At the truck stops, you could regurgitate food into his mouth to feed him. Let me ask you, in the context of that finding like gold freak show people, yeah. on the one hand, you guys like these talented comics. On the other hand, you look for these freak psychos. Can you get where to would it Norton, stupid? Where would Norton fall into that category? <laughs> so he seems to straddle both worlds rather well. God, it took a while. How's that there, stupid? What are getting to? I knew I, as <laughs> soon as your mouth it. opened, it was worse. You knew it was going to be a bash I'm on like, you. Look, the door's open. Just walk through, shithead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, think on think? the show, it'll be semi-promotionable. Um, I don't know. Let's ask the producer. Do you think that would be his biggest Todd mentioned in the Daily News? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a very nice little mention for the Opie Anthony program. <laughs> Shut up. They don't need this local mention. they got to invite people on. Every time they mention the paper, shut your trap. No, on the next page, good. they're advertised. Dum dum. <laughs> don't produce. You don't know what you're doing. Do stand up. <laughs> what, what mimicking did you do, Mr. Funny Man? Uh, I don't know. Look at the whole end of your set. <laughs> what was that? What did that mean? It means when you go. I don't do. Uh, I haven't done that since 1995. Shut okay. up! Shut I won't up. shut up. You do it every 20 seconds. No, I don't. Yeah. Flip down. Yeah. You know what I'm funny? Flip down. Get the fuck out, faggot! Yeah, it involves the same voice, the same Michael Caine face. At least it's <laughs> to the right. At least it's gonna, at least this weekend I'll be able. Your characters are going to have a pronounced limp. <laughs> I, I like Michael Caine face. Thanks. Well, we were waiting for you to decide what the fucking shut your mouth. Who cares what you like? Go back to sleep. <laughs> Where he chokes to death. Right now. <laughs> and Dawn makes a quick decision and says, "Fuck." I it. didn't even say. You fucking <laughs> Shut up, you cap. You laughed too much. You enjoyed it, it too that, much. It was Gollum sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> say something to Precious. I didn't say nothing. Leave half-formed larvae alone. <laughs> uh, do me a favor. Don't bring any chicks over when you come by. Oh, yeah, I brought donkey sausage. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I, well, I didn't, actually. That was Colin. Shut your mouth, you lying No, punk. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It Bobby. Was... You know exactly what happened. Cause Absolutely had, when not. When she sat there, she was being a little inappropriate. And then we all knew it. Could you please keep your women in line? How uh, was she being inappropriate? Job. Like, she was like, Bob was sitting with Dawn, and he was kind of like injured on the couch. just kind of late at night. You know, what kind of being yeah. semi-human. And she's leaning and going, shut up, Bob, you fucking idiot. That was these tits. And like, Dawn's like, oh, <laughs> right, right. It was me, Colin, Keith, and She was her. on. She was like yeah. being on, and yeah. everybody's being a little just over, kind of sexual. And right, right. She's my yeah. friend, but she's not my girl. Yeah. Why would I take responsibility for someone else's? Be unless you take responsibility for Keith. We, Who we, brought her over Bobby's house, though? She Jim. Just no, I didn't. I would tell no, my someone had to bring her. She was just coming. We all we were all sitting there, and she Please we said we're going. It was hey, your idea to go. See Bob, I'm like, yeah, yeah we'll see it was Bobby. my idea to visit my friend who was injured. You're right. I, right. Yes, I'm responsible. It was. So. I'm a creep. I, so I, he wants to go, and a whole gaggle of people. That follow. was the way it was just kind of happening. I didn't say no. hey, you want to come. Okay, do you want to hear the exact words that happened since this yes. guy has a selected memory? Ten fingers. What? And so then Jim's sitting there with Corinne. So I, and Jim goes, uh, maybe I'll stop by too. I got to get my mail anyway. Literally, yeah. that's what he said. That's exactly me. what I said. Oh, great. Nice so I go, friend. All right, cool. So I said I understand. And then he was hanging out with Corinne. She was spending the night or whatever, a couple hours okay. with him. So he's going to give her up. And I said on the steps of the comedy cellar on the way to the club, I go, 
Jimmy, you're trying to, you know, find a way to get her not to go because we're going to see our friend. Why no, I wanted to go. That? And did you say that? I don't remember. I, I don't care if she goes. Why would I, I don't she goes? remember. <laughs> Will, yes. Yes, no, you do she remember. Call the... Rove, shut up. No, she was just hanging at the comedy <laughs> cellar. That was yeah. all she was doing. Oh! She okay, does comedy. that explains it. Yeah. Oh, she does comedy at the cellar? No, not at the cellar. She oh, oh okay. No, I was just wondering. So she was hanging at the cellar, and then she came along as one of our crew. They are regular. Listen, these stupid. <laughs> the only... No, I'm just asking a question. The only reason you even told me about it is because well, you wanted a ride. Oh, Fucking ooh. creep. It wasn't genuine. No, I didn't want to ride after the night before. Don't ever fucking sneeze in my car. I'm fucking pig. <laughs> right. I'm a weirdo. You, I'm not a weirdo. You sneeze. You made an uncomfortable situation. Oh, you afraid if you put your thin hands up, your sneeze would blow them off? Damn. <laughs> fucking skeleton fingers. At least I admit everything I did. You're still You lying. didn't admit it. You act like you turned your head and were courteous. You didn't. You tilted it to the right three oh. degrees. You know what? When you leave to L.A., I'm going to swoop in on this fucking job. Obviously, I've been zeroing in on it all week. Yeah. <laughs> He's been showing he can show up early. Exactly. Yeah, I show up early. I don't show up with a distracted sunglass, a distracted, busy face like I'm a goddamn nuclear scientist. <laughs> you show up only because you had to plug a gig. You don't care about the guys. You, yeah, you care don't. about Caroline's. All right, listen. I care about the I guys. showed up because last week Opie invited me, and then you re He was being me. polite. What was he, he supposed to say? Don't come back? You're very irritable. I don't want you taking that medication ever again. <laughs> I wanted to come in last night. Yeah. I should play the message for you. I left it on my machine, but it's basically, yeah, come in at 7 o'clock. Make sure you get there at, right at 7 because, you know, we got a busy show tomorrow. I go, oh, who's on? Like, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, New Orleans, maybe it's Oprah. I mean, who knows? <laughs> yep. Ron and Fez are coming in, and we might get a call from Samuel Jackson and Eugene Levy. <laughs> That's right. That's I'll make show. sure I'm quick and get out, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Listen, man. You I just have wanted you to shut have your the face. proper amount of attention and fun on this program. Featuring Jimmy again, yes. Oh, you could have 20 if you go to the comedy cellar every night. He comes out off stage. I swear you would think Lenny Bruce was about to be arrested. <laughs> this crunch, uh, political crack. I hate these people. Idiots. <laughs> Why, because they didn't laugh for 12 minutes no. on, your, on your elongated 50 cent story? Listen, so, <laughs> hey, that's a very funny I'm at story. 50, now, you know, because his foot is hurt, he's got a stool yeah. for a 12 minute set at the cellar. Oh, you see a car stool he thinks he's like, guy he thinks he's now? Bill Cosby. The he sits con. up there and he's like, I, um, I, I collect autographs, something you show. He does like a five-minute intro. It's really annoying. Here's what I do. And he thinks he connects with the crowd like he's smiling. like, And he just looks at them with that horrible face. It's like, come on. You're not charming. I am charming. You're really not. People are, uh, give a little <laughs> smile. The crowd loves me. You drain the mercy out of them for your sake, and I have to go on and suffer. <laughs> And you're sitting down now, Jimmy? I have to. Jimmy's I, the sit-down comic yeah. guy. I injured my foot, and I, and I told the seller that I need a, a, stool. <laughs> a stool. It's like a tour de force. One was yeah. provided. One man show. Yeah. <laughs> As he's sitting there. And he still does the same phony one man show thing. You know, in comedy, whoever's the headline or in a road gig, you go have it a hand for the MC in the other act. Sure. Well, this conceited ass... He d in the middle of the show, if there's five comics, if he's third on, he'll go, how about a hand for the MC in your other acts? But he doesn't say it like ironically. He says it like sincerely. So like he's like, the oh. headline. I'm like, there's nobody on after him. <laughs> Not only is it inconsiderate, I've told him 20 times stop doing it. He won't stop. I won't stop. I like doing it. It's a courtesy. Oh, oh it's not a courtesy. I'm a good guy, and I feel that. Oh, it's, a, it's the usually, height of pomposity. It's not. Usually it's a colored boy who's hosting the show, and I like to say, how about a hand for that fella? Yeah, well, no, 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 Keith is, uh, yeah, he does a heck of a job. <laughs> I'm going to start recording Jim. Too bad he's going out of town for a couple of weeks. That's well, we don't know when he's leaving. Very busy, man. He was Jimmy supposed Martin. to leave by now, and now he's, now are you leaving next Wednesday? This, I'm leaving Wednesday. And Wednesday? Are you doing Wednesday show? I think so. He doesn't yeah. know he has no power on the show. Don't you understand that? Uh, they he... call him and say, "Bitch, get back in your seat. You're not." Li oh, but I, I changed my ticket. I can't. Deny. Too bad. <laughs> no, you don't understand. When they, when they, when the, the ticket just changes. You know how it is. In first Would you class. make Louis C.K. come in and go on at seven o'clock? Louis C.K. can come and go as he pleases. That's the way it goes <laughs> around here. <laughs> no, not the, in, it's an intervention for you two guys. Uh oh, what oh, do we boy. do? A little power corrupt. Power corrupts. Apparently. From giving this idiot uh, a voice on the radio, 
He drove me home last night in his Toyota Caddy. Caddy. Have you seen that Camry <laughs> that he calls a Caddy? Yeah. Toyota Caddy. Norton, have you seen it? <laughs> it's the worst Cadillac ever. <laughs> it's it's like like he showed it to me. What do you think? Like, oh, yeah. It looks like a Camry. So, yeah. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's got the most awful GPS that, like, you know, it's crayons. <laughs> 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 it's an eight-year-old girl. And then, uh, uh, seat. And then uh, <laughs> so last night we're driving yeah. home this crayons. moron. I thought I had supposed to be. Uh, you know, uh, you, I don't believe much in conspiracy. He always has to deny that he believes in everything, and then he believes in it. Like, <laughs> usually, so he can feel like he's a unique guy instead of just another, uh, you know, strip mall idiot like the rest of us. And he's like, oh, I'm not a conspiracy guy like some of these idiots. And then he goes into this thing about the, the wing nuts. We uh, heard about it. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about it. was just so aggravating. I felt like saying, you know, Either do charity or learn a musical <laughs> instrument. Fucking phony bore. It's so boring. It's so shit. I mean, if you saw these photos, he goes, hey, give me away. I'm not giving you my fucking emails. So you can wait. Send me some shitty picture. <laughs> Go back to porn. At least then you were kind of excited. <laughs> well, it's phony. Instead of reading a book or taking a class, this is what dumb people do to feel intellectual. They check out like the sides of planes. Go. Oh, I mean, if you look at the vector, because some other, <laughs> because some other asshole sent it to him. Go. You know, this is not a 757. Yes, it probably is. But who gives a shit? You boring idiot. It was actually. Take that thing off. Is that a sleep apnea thing? Dude, what, what else could it be? Colin, you're on fire. Don't sit down. He's I'm working. Not the, sit down. He's working the room. He's pacing back and forth yeah, no. and just you, doing some crowd work. Reduced. I know. think you're fat because you don't have to, you know. Oh my God. We all, we all do yeah. that though. We'll read all those political books and then just reciting what we just read but to I, other I people. Claim, but I always claim it's ours. But I was honest about where I got it. I didn't say I made it up. I said that I don't. Just, I found a, a credible uh, source. The gravitas in his fucking idiotic face is what got him. He put the pressure on me though now to to dispute this. But you'll watch. He goes, it. I'll send you the link. Watch it. And then you tell me where the piece came from that isn't a 757. That's right. Oh, tell him to prove it. And then you just, and then I go, well, what's the motive? I don't know. But, well, well that would be part one of this <laughs> argument. But I don't tell know. Tell me the motive. Then don't bring it up until you have a motive. Well, I don't have to have a solution. <laughs> no, a motive is different from a solution. You yes, it is. A motive is a solution as to why. Why it would the government oh. shove a plane into the Pentagon? I yeah. don't. I don't because know. They, would. they were waiting for the right opportunity. So that day, when two planes went into the World Trade Center, they said, "Now's our chance, quick." Because <laughs> <laughs> the one that went into the Trade Center are legit. It's yeah, that Pentagon one. Yeah, that, sure. they just had it sitting there waiting for he that. He raised happen. some good points, and I had to say he raised. And some you good raised points. no good points. I didn't say. I did. Mean it. I really felt good to throw you. <laughs> no bars in town. I saw him last night. Bring him in. Fucking <laughs> Colin. Beat him. Beat him. All right. Hey, Colin, good. you got any uh, gigs we're promoting, or are you just nope. hanging? Say, just, just for a job interview. No, how about this? Whatever gigs I'm promoting, chances are he'll show up and do a few minutes up front. We don't get it. Oh, that one. Yes, you do, stupid. <laughs> oh, I... And that's not getting a laugh. It, no. it <laughs> bombed, but it was kind of true. It felt good. When you open for, no, when you open for Norton, he gives you a checklist, you a checklist of bits you can't do. That's why I didn't really? Laugh. Yeah, when no, you open for Norton, he gives you a checklist. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. It's a whole subject thing. Didn't, you yeah. know? No, well, that night, him just sitting there like uh, like with that serious attitude. Like, hey, guys. And he has his little dressing room. I, meanwhile, he didn't, I messed up all his food. I smashed his sandwiches. I put all kinds of... And he didn't even eat any of it. He's got like a special <laughs> thing where he's got to have every kind of. Yeah. Uh, he's got he is little very rider. finicky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a got a writer guy. with little things about what he wants to dress. Yeah. yeah. Four bottles of uh, unopened water and, and a big black cock. <laughs> and Jimmy's going to be in Poughkeepsie at Bananas. Poughkeepsie at oh, yeah, bananas. bananas. Yes. Finally, he's moving back in the direction he belongs. <laughs> where were those big, where were those big theater gigs? Loser. When the HBO Wait, show not? comes, hold on, it's not going to change nothing when the HBO show comes. Can I, shut up. I I've answer. been back and I've been up and down. <laughs> up and down. <laughs> I want to answer your question as to when those theater gigs are. I have uh, the event center at the Vagata Casino with Dave Attell uh, in May, going on sale Saturday, and the Orpheum in Boston going on sale, I believe. Uh, with Attell? Yes. And the Orpheum? Yes. Both of them with Attell, huh? Yes. Why don't you throw Dane Cook on to make sure you don't uh, you know, empty out the place? Oh, <laughs> Who's closing? Dave. Why? Why don't you get Louis Black? And if I would have said me, you would have said why. No. <laughs> uh.
No. Do you see how big this stupid Duke story is? Is this about you understand fucking, how yeah. divided by this class country and is race. so phony? How about the fucking Daryl, the Little John? Why don't they talk about that? The way he fucking uh, raped that white girl? They don't talk about that. Or she no. was actually Filipino. Whatever the fuck stupid. she was, she was asking for it. <laughs> well, you know, Whoa. this is how. No, he only how said fun. that because he was ashamed when he realized she wasn't meaning white. There was and no, he was dumb. No, meaning there was no racial implications. I know, but I, I, exactly. The point is, it's it's white media going. Oh, oh. let's try to absolve ourselves in case there's a riot. They won't hit us. Right. It's fucking liberal. Why did you admit that all these incidents that happen with athletes, 90% of the time, it's a black athlete doing it to white people? <laughs> I don't know any Phil. She wasn't Filipino, by the way. I like to fill them up with Pino. She oh, you're still pissed because really? you were wrong? Shut up. And she wasn't Filipino. She was closer to Filipino than white, so but at least you're admitting that you don't. Made it. At least you're admitting you don't know what she was. Yeah, I'm saying she was Filipino, and you're I like guessing. to fill them up with Pinos. Oh, stop. <laughs> all right. You're guessing. Here, here's another clip. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. She wasn't Filipino. I like the way uh, I, Norton tells the story. I was seeing a British girl like it was Notting Hill yeah. instead of some triple labia she fucking just, prostitute. just had a miscarriage. Yeah. <laughs> I was seeing this British gal. And, <laughs> well, if you've ever seen Hugh Grant. And, yeah. uh, James good point, Norton. Good point. Out for a night at the theater, are we? <laughs> it was more just for a like reference of time. Take her dining right near garbage juice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you shouldn't even been near garbage juice with a British girl. He was just pointing out his career. <laughs> Why stop <laughs> 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 Turned, yeah, turned on us like everyone on does. A lot of people have turned on except us lately, you, Colin. Colin. Yeah, thank exactly. you. Except for you. Thank God, Opie invited me on the show. Hey, you know, you that once in a while. Hey, stop by. Except hey, why don't you stop by? Come in whenever you want. You, Shut you, up. You, you have no power to say it. You, I had the power to say it. You don't have the authority. And, you and Eric can exchange fucking hairdos. You don't have the authority. I thought that would get a good laugh, but I forced it. God damn it. <laughs> Go on, just let. Why can't you just let me slide? Ah, oh, nah. Come on, her own time's sake, Tom. <laughs> can't you force a laugh? Her own time's sake. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, can't do it. <laughs> and uh, I can't do accents at all. And like, whenever I act, I'm just horribly embarrassed and exposed. And I feel like I'm trying hard, and everybody just knows I suck. <laughs> Is that bad, like, to actually have that when you're acting? You, you're going to have to move through that eventually. But, um, yeah, and what play was it, Fool for Love? Yeah, yeah, it was just a, a scene where uh, I'm trying to convince May to come with me that I yeah. bought some uh, land in Quit Wyoming. telling him what to play is stupid, he knows. Well, I'm trying to, well, it's funny. I, I, that Somebody was, has to say it. That was what Edward said to me when he came Somebody out. Does. He said, uh, that's my brother's That's where name. we met. Yeah, and I oh, bothered yeah. him for a picture upstairs, and he was very Of course pleasant. you did. Why do you always have to bother everybody for a picture? It's creepy. Ask Edward Norton if he remembers how creeped out he was that he's trying to be a peer to you and then you ask him for a picture. All right, hold on. <laughs> Edward, um, do you do you remember being creeped out or did you just think it was good natured fun? I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty much good natured bad taste humor. Thank oh. you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just you know two two men of a similar ilk as actors because taking a photo together. I go up to my good similar. friends, my peers. You I'll... talked about your nipples. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Well, not to him after the show, probably on stage. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't mind. doubt you did after the show. I think it was both. I He's a despicable both. man. Oh, he remembered uh, that. Thank you. <laughs> he never makes eye contact with people in, in a scene, which I think is great, because in my class, they just say, you got to look at the person in the eyes, but I, I don't look at people in the eyes in real life. I'm shifty and nervous all the time. Well, um... <laughs> well, again. But I mean, that's what I like again, about it. I, again, I don't really know what to say to you. <laughs> say what you really feel inside, which is shut up, you rank amateur, <laughs> and don't ever bother me again with acting questions. There's nothing wrong. You dilettante idiot. Yeah, Jimmy's hoping that you guys are going to become friends. Yeah, Jimmy thinks you guys are going to be, like, studying together and doing Sham Shepard scenes. Jimmy's hoping by the end of this interview you go, yeah. uh, can you put me on hold? I want Jim Norton's phone number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can do a Sham Shepard play. Nobody <laughs> I hope Alan. he kicks you down the stairs at the cellar next time he sees you. <laughs> Nobody told me this was your show, Jim. Why didn't they tell me? Uh, they probably didn't know. I mean, they don't know all the friends I have that are, happen to be celebrities. They don't give me any credit. the third wheel. Yeah, uh, I am pretty please. much. Let me, let me ask you something. When you uh, saw Norton's original act at the cellar, did you ever dream he'd ask you a question <laughs> that Byron Allen wouldn't even ask you how amazing it is to work with Brando De Niro? I only thought well, how, do, how can you answer that other than it was great? Well, I just thought of it. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Because I saw how much weight you put on, so it made me think of Brando. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little heavy. It's true.
Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Thanks. Edward Norton, everyone. The best part is that Jim Norton looks like Edward Furlong in American history. <laughs> I don't remember him. Shut up. He's the little brother, you idiot. Well, what do I know? I'm just too busy talking to my other acting friend. You know? <laughs> yeah, you look like little... a beautiful little Nambler victim. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Greg. You stupid well. tadpole. Everybody at Caroline's, thank you. Norton looks like a tadpole. <laughs> that is a sexy little picture <laughs> of Jimmy. A, that's my Caroline's when I was there, and it, it actually says sold out in red letters. Couldn't you have photoshopped a breathe right strip on his nose? Because <laughs> he doesn't leave home without it these days. He's a psychopath. I can't breathe otherwise. I see things through the naive eyes of a young boy. Wow. I gave her a life. See, you don't need tender days. sentiments. You make up your own. <laughs> they help, pretty though. tender sentiments. They, they help, though, when, when things are blue. Shut up. There were like four of them. <laughs> four <laughs> shitty ones in a fucking Kleenex box, and you're telling me it's a bit? Go yeah. oh, fuck yourself. It's loser. something that we like very Shut much on up. this radio program. <laughs> and they helped me get through it sad was done. times. No, there was many more to be read. No, there was four. Groucho Mark said it right. Canned laughter ruined sitcom writing because you didn't have to be funny. You were guaranteed to laugh. Yeah. Well, however, Groucho said it. I was going to say, did he say it in that elongated? <laughs> no, he way. probably wow. said it brilliantly and funny. And I, I just... remember him being a little more eloquent than yes. that, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of clumsily, I'm kind of paraphrasing with Groucho. <laughs> you know what show at Canned Laughs that really makes me laugh? It's a British show. Alan Partridge show. I don't like the way you said it. It's a British don't show. Say Who are you? Hey, listen, Madonna. I'm, don't say, no, don't say British with a British accent. I Nothing. Didn't. No, but uh, it's a British oh, show. Give a shot, your face. Opie and Anthony movie. Yeah, that's oh, what we want. You guys good. have to fuck. Well, I a have a buddy good. movie where we what? A buddy movie where you have to find, uh, let's say Norton has AIDS, and you have to find the antidote by the end of the movie. <laughs> the antidote is this a doc- for AIDS? Is this a documentary? Boy, that's going <laughs> to be a boring movie. It's going to be two hours of Ant and I just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> doing it's like no, a radio Jim, show. No. Withering away. That's Jimmy loses How about by, this? The, by the minute. <laughs> it's like the, it's a combination of that, an action movie and the omen. We try to figure out, you know, the liver spots on Norton's head? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to find a scratch off. It's like a scratch off lotto game. And if there's a 6 6 underneath, you win? Yes. And you guess you have people, real fans of, of Norton, come up and like try to scratch off his head. <laughs> you, that was kind of hurtful, too. Stick a, G- a, a, a GPS tag on him and follow him around the ocean for a month. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't get what you say. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hey, but then Jimmy, you know, he started something that's really not taking off. What is it? Cat Noise Wednesday. I'm Cat Noise Wednesday could that? fall by the wayside. It shouldn't. As I expect what is Phone it? Call Thursday, too. <laughs> Yeah, fo- I think what we drop phone calls Wednesday? Thursday tomorrow. What? What, what is Cat Noise Wednesday? Ask, ask the freaking inventor. What is it, I remember. You just make a cat noise. Oh. That sounds like something him and his girlfriend giggled at one night, and she said, do it, and he was too gutless to say no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've all been in that situation. <laughs> all right, Colin. You hurt the whole room. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm laughing really hard. Go, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, would you like to do your cat noise for Colin? I don't, I don't remember it, but I don't like the fact that Fat Squiggy just made fun of me. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't get mad at us because we all have girlfriends, you lonely bastard. <laughs> um, I don't remember Cat Noise uh, Wednesday. You made it up. Some other ones, Oh, too. gosh, Jimmy. What else did I have? Oh, I had another one, too. See, Cat How about Death Wednesday. Rattle Jim Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Where we hear your death rattle and you die. Well, Cat Noise yeah. Wednesday just not taking off. We might, I have, know. To we might have to scratch Horrendous. it off the list. We'll, we'll think well, about it next Wednesday. I kind of liked it. It scared yeah, me. Yeah, there was also there was Water Shake Wednesday. That was supposed to be a big one. What's that? What was that? <laughs> just shakes his water. Yeah, it gets like the whole country will do it. Say, All right, go. And everybody's riding around. That's like how you show solidarity for the radio. And we Come wonder why Colin Gwynn like is bitter. Yeah, what? exactly. And we wonder why you're bitter, when, Colin. When Water Shake Wednesday is going to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you to drown in your own blood tonight, Jimmy. <laughs> Anything I can do to facilitate that, please tell me. Sit on my chest, fatso. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> Yeah. To the club. That's Thanks. a purr. I like the fact that Colin is trying to have dignity and not be. I'm not having dignity. I'm so disgusted by Cat Noise Wednesday. No, Thank you, you Colin. I'm with really you. Am. you. I'm with get Colin. Cat noise I get it. It's fake irony. Shut no, up. No, it's listen. not. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Cat Noise Wednesday. Shut your trapper. Everyone likes uh, it. Boring. <laughs> Jimmy, how is that a slam on me when it obviously trashed the show? What? 
Shut up. No, no, no. I was Rob I was, Cat noise right now. I was yes. pointing at you and laughing because it was a, it was a joy that the thing. I know, but I was trying to tell you it was ruining the show. But it's no, it's not. It down. What do you want, Colin? Cookie eating Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, from anyone else, that might be amusing. <laughs> Tub <Tubble> lord. <laughs> Ass is red again. What's wrong with you? Why does your ass get red? On this, uh, He's got a rash. He's got a little baby boy rash. No one has baby skin. All right. <laughs> Paddle Thursday. Mm. Ooh. Nah, Paddle Thursday's too busy. Shut up, cat noise. Paddle Friday. Exactly. <laughs> cat noise ones. Cat I actually saw uh, Elaine from Seinfeld there, and her show oh, is still on. It's still on. It's still on. It's amazing. I was like, wait, this show is still on? She's yeah. got a so show? So much for the Seinfeld curse, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually had uh, on. Is that what the the British curse Butler? with riches. All the, of, nah. First of all, let's not pretend Norton wouldn't do a guest spot on there. Now go ahead and say what you want. <laughs> 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 I certainly would. <laughs> Is that the one with the British butler? You would play him and just... Uh, and I predict so season bad. three, no there's kidding. a plot. Oh, I met a guy online dating, and this sellout shows up. Hi, <laughs> Hi Christine. I'm not. the crazy guy from online dating. No, I'm... I'm this, 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 <laughs> Shut up and let them laugh, stupid. <laughs> it was a good one, Jimmy. It really was. I don't disagree. <laughs> it was really good. I don't We're disagree. not asking you to disagree. We're asking you to shut up and let us all savor your awfulness. You know what I say? <laughs> 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 if it was any other day than Wednesday, I'd be pissed, but he's Well, right. you know what? The, right. the guys <laughs> are forcing my hand, and I'm going to have to declare uh -oh. that it's that Monday through Friday, it's it's a it's a cat noise melee. No! It's a melee of cat noise. Okay, I didn't want to say this today, but I'm going to say it. All right. I want you two to finally stand up and fire this fool. <laughs> no, it, it, it has because to Because all, shut up and let me finish. No, you're trying all to be fired. No. I'm going to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> while, you, while, you, while you give probably a good case for my firing. <laughs> and I, by the way, I, I was informed that while I didn't know Colin was here while I was doing my... My brilliant sports analysis break about Green Bay and Dallas, and apparently Colin was in the dressing room uh, not agreeing. Only, well, it wasn't that I disagreed. First of all, I grew up loving the Packers, you know, I was from New York. But second of all, just the fact that it takes a real amateur to go to spout a fact like, Dallas, Green Bay hasn't beaten them since 1989. That's not a fact that a real sports fan would even know. And I'm not even a real sports fan. I'm a half a fruit myself. <laughs> but I know phoniness when I hear it. How would you know that unless somebody handed you a paper? No one handed it to me. Are you a big sports? Do you watch football I, every Sunday? I saw that. Shut your mouth. I used to watch it. And the Cowboys stink and so do the Packers, and you I'm know, a Packers fan. They're both 10-1. They're 20 and 10 one I, get, I know, but you talk about my celebrity <laughs> photos, and you're a celebrity. Uh, although one of minor stature, you are a celebrity. <laughs> I'm not minor stature. I'm just descending rapidly. No. <laughs> And, and Don't patronize me. He goes, no. No. I First of all, if I am or not, your opinion is not going to matter either way. Now go on. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that. Shut up and continue. No, I am. Go on. I yeah, they're they're just very because, hurtful. No, because Jimmy would have a great suggestion. You guys have to have my management. He's got some wild tales from his trips. And I mentioned, yeah, let's put my accountant in you, jackass. <laughs> yes, but no, I see, that's Shut where you, your mouth. He just travels a lot. So I just mentioned that, and as we were talking, Colin just was saying, uh, why don't you bring on your accountant? And he was dismissing me by not looking at me with his fucking awful middle finger pointed at me. Yeah. Which I thought was definitely anger. disrespectful. Well, here's the thing about Jim. As you guys know, I spoke to you guys briefly at the Pat Cooper roast, and I said I really discussed it with Jim. And as you know, I'm only half joking when I say things like that. <laughs> yeah. And I mentioned that. Here's what bothers me about Jim. What? Okay, I've mentioned this to him before. Okay, we're in a, we're in a car one day, and I'm, I, I was probably zigging him. He drives me uptown in his crummy car, <laughs> non-celebrity car. The fancy caddy. What are you talking about? It's, it's a caddy that looks like I drove you uptown. Obviously, you haven't taken a ride with Jimmy in a while. Camry <laughs> caddy. It's a Camry caddy. It looks like a Camry. It feels like a Camry, and no. Nobody knows it's a caddy unless you say it. <laughs> <laughs> caddy actually took the, the insignia off and put a caddy. So, I get, so we're in the car, me, him, and his girl. And, you know, and so maybe I was zinging him a little hard. You forget sometimes because we're comedians and we bust balls. But when you call Jimmy, like, I kept calling him what an ugly creep and how he's worked out to look mediocre. And I forget that, like, even though we're comedians and we bust balls, probably his childhood had a lot of pain and horror, as it yes. should have. <laughs> so as it suddenly, have. here we are, me being a snide kind of idiot. His girlfriend's sitting there probably politely putting up with it. And then Jim outburst goes, so what about you? You act like you were a 10 when you were younger. You weren't that great looking. Just with total anger, like no, holding in this you're nonsense. No. And I was like, first of all, 
I never thought I was a ten. I was about a. I was a hard seven. He goes, "You were a fucking six. Me, no. He actually uh, thought I was the power. No, 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 you will not make a Just monologue out of this. No, that he's lying. lying. He's lying. He's Can lying. He's my polluted. statement. No, this is my opening statement. It's, it's, it's a forty-minute dissertation. That's not true. It's a falsehood. You're spreading falsehoods. No, it's not. I wasn't angry. Here's what Colin does. He was does. angry that burst. Uh, believe me, I wasn't mad. Me and my girlfriend still laugh at that house. She's like, what does Colin say he was that day? I'm like, a hard seven. But he acts like, Colin acts like he's fucking 10 pounds away from the glory days. Like he was fucking. Oh, no, I don't. He, well, all right, 140. He acts like he was <laughs> beautiful, and he was not a bad-looking guy. But to that's all to, I said. I never thought But you, was you act looking. like you were gorgeous. But that's what I'm saying, the fact that he thinks that. But no, it's true. First of all, even if it had been true, which I, I know how I really thought, but even if I did think that, why wouldn't you let an old man have his own delusion? Because you're not that much scream. older than me. He screamed. I didn't scream at you. The amount of anger there, and here's my other point, what? okay? Here's my other point, which I do. <laughs> what other point? You haven't made one to begin with. <laughs> All right, here's my first and only point. And he is a lot older than you. He's yeah. 10 years older I'm than 48. me. I'm 48. I'm 30, 39. You're yeah, nine years older than me. But in entertainment years, Colin is a hell of a lot older than you. Yeah. But here's what bothers me. No. The fact that he's angry. <laughs> no, it's that. true. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I thought. Well, I thought it was, I didn't think it was an insult, but apparently it was. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Colin. Go ahead. Yeah, I let's... don't like the fact that Jim, right after his last special, goes to the club every night because it's almost like, hey, man, I'm a gym rat. I just work at stand-up. You're a compulsive ass. Oh, okay. Take a few weeks off, shut up, and let me finish. No. Quit it, I'll tell you why. I'm not a gym rat. You think to yourself, hey, I'm a guy that just blue collar. I take my lunch pail into the club every night with your fake humility, and I'm putting a stop to it today. Right Why? Now. I don't want people to shut your face. Hold on. No, no, no. Here's You're the compulsive. Thing. Take a few weeks off and just breathe. Uh, here, I'm compulsive. Have you ever seen yourself in front of a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, that was hurtful. Of course it was. But it's not true. The reason I do it is because... It was, I don't think a buffet way. I know. I couldn't think of a better way to say it. Was but the bottom line is I don't want people coming out after seeing the HBO special and seeing the same shit. Well, They're going to get pissed off. It's selfish. I want to make I more money. I think what Kyle's trying to say, though, you don't, you don't seem to enjoy all the success at I times. do enjoy the success. No, that's I love not what I'm saying. I'm it's trying to short. stop any enjoyment of the success. Oh, you don't yeah. want him to enjoy it. If he has any chance of enjoying it, I'm putting a stop to it now. That's oh, yeah, look, another chewed pen. Uh, the, the fucking uh, they keep chewing the pens. You want to keep? I don't know. Whoever it is is going to get. What are you doing? Oh, he's putting it up his there ass. There you go. Whoever chews pens, <laughs> enjoy enjoy the chewed pen. Oh, fucking God cunt. Damn it. And chew on that shit. Ew. Now wait a minute. Yes, that's shit. All right. Um, Jim, so, you have to be careful with that kind of behavior. No, I don't like. I want to do new stuff, so I was done with the set in June, and I, I started doing new stuff. I got. I don't. You don't do the same material. People come out and see me. They fucking not going to see the same act. You know what? He's a little. That, I'm picking up something here. But I don't want to do completely bash uh, Jimmy. But no, no, uh, I'm, Jump in, please. I'm picking up something. I think Jimmy is assuming that everyone has seen the HBO special. Yeah, you're right. And no, so so no that he's got to get it. new material because when they go out, everyone that's there has seen. His uh, uh, old material. No, no one has seen it, but it's more than that. Not everyone, no. But uh, but I do think that a good amount of people will come who have seen it. Hold on. <laughs> We're trying to change the subject. Can I address my friend? <laughs> I think there's truth in yes. both. No, I don't assume I really have seen it. Believe me, I would love to be able to just live off that for another year, but you That's can't. That's not what I'm saying. What? What I'm saying is that you think you fancy think yourself... A humble gym rat that goes down to the club and just works it out. And I want you to stop coming to the club, and if I see you there again, I'm going to punch you in the snout. <laughs> well, you're never there. <laughs> what are you talking about, you fucking well, lonely decide, psychopath? If I decide to go there. Oh, that's where you have to go out and plug when you're, on a, you're doing a gig. Oh, do you believe this idiot's trying to act like Mr. Pragmatic? Shut your but mouth right now. But it's the truth. It's reality. Uh, I'm, yeah. I am a very pragmatic, which I think means realistic <laughs> guy. I'm not exactly sure what pragmatic means. Colin, what's Hopefully going on? Hopefully it means yeah. fun and joyful. <laughs> <laughs> Like he wants us to, he wants the value of having everyone okay, appreciate the fact that he's turning <laughs> my great beginning analysis. This what was your beginning analysis about you? Well, well, it's and about, suddenly it's turned around about me. It looks like he did lose a few pounds. That's why I asked that. Thanks, Hope. Did you? What do you think of that? I I'm not going to bam out. I said just that, that three years of working out and no <laughs> definition whatsoever. But I understand that. I, I, I shut up. By the way, I said, over, I, no definition. Cut your heavy bag open. No I definition. said a few. I said a few, not a lot. By the way. Yeah. yeah. You want to feel the guns? I can look right here, and I'm telling you. I, I agree, actually. I, I have been kind of swinging in the wind there, fucking working out, hoping for a little definition. But I can't stop eating. It's You're eating half. Exactly.
But I don't think that Jim's uh, answer is correct. Uh, uh, I'm not going to. My answer is not getting Commander McBrag with him. No, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you why I said that. Shut <laughs> up and let the laugh finish. Oh, you're right. <laughs> McBrag, that's right. a big laugh. It was a. Little war, me, Roger, and remember. Billy. And Jack Rollins. <laughs> my yes. goodness, what did you do, McBrag? <laughs> <laughs> well, I pulled out a toothpick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it was during the making of License to Wed, so of course we shot and most. And big, as you know, because it's the finest hunting in the lab. <laughs> that one time, Kyle. <laughs> Shut up and let All right, I stopped. One time, Kyle, license to wed? What are you trying to defend your company? Shut the fuck no, up. I, let us laugh at the shit they put out. I don't even I know what you're talking about. I, oh. Did you guys go on the radio and promote? You got to get out there. Shut your mouth, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, why don't you start? Something nice um, about Jimmy. Sincere. I thought that uh, Jill Al, Jim's <laughs> last HBO special was even funnier when he did the when he did it. You know, the first HBO special was funny. The second one he just did was even funnier when he did the same thing the second time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit! Holy shit! Um, that Jimmy doesn't have AIDS after all the sexual encounters. <laughs> I'll say this: <laughs> they, they hide behind their laughter. <laughs> These guys can't show a, a real. If Jimmy is killed in an uprising during one of his management meetings. Okay. <laughs> in Paraguay. In Paraguay, of all places. <laughs> sure. You'd be Without surprised. having to throw in a, a what, zinger. You'd be surprised what Jim Atazoa is uh, capable <laughs> of emotion was. Jim Atazoa? <laughs> Equating <laughs> him with yeah, some type yeah. of sperm. I believe. <laughs> I, I bet you the, this is Jim like that. sleeps in a petri dish. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like some of these guys that just you know, you constantly see them pushing their books and their dumb CDs and their specials constantly doing every stupid You've... thing. They'll do a line in a shitty big action movie. Just you know, I'm not like that. Old. Absolutely I'm to do real, not. But you got to do real work. They'll be in Spider-Man Five. They don't give a damn. I'm trying to do real work. Well, we don't people. all have You're, right. Crocodile Dundee Two to fall back on. Oh. I'm saying that. Oh. That's fucking like I had. <laughs> Let's go to Ralph in North Carolina. <laughs> I did the Gene Simmons roast, and I never hired anybody to write for me before. But I'm like, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of comedians on the roast. I wanted to get the com the perspective of a comic, and, and fucking, I'll pay him. I don't know how much to pay. My friend Kurt, and stupid Kurt, gives me two pages, like one the day before and the one the day of. Fucking lazy Kurt. So fucking, uh, they were funny jokes though. So I get them, and I'm like, Colin, like I'm talking to him about it, and on the elevator, he goes, you know, I, I don't want to humiliate you in front of everybody, <laughs> but I've never hired anybody to write for me. <laughs> wow. In front of the whole elevator, I had to justify myself. So I tried to have like a nice. <laughs> Ask a guy who's been around for years to fucking help me out with a piece of advice. And help me out of here, Hendry. And I've been around for years on my own two feet, not Kurtz. Mm. That's true. Tell him about the message I gave you. I text message you and Kenny after your special, stupid. Oh, uh, so he, he said that the worst part of me shooting a special is that me and Kenny were probably sitting there together, like having a serious moment. Afterwards, woods, they're just like, yeah. Looking at each other. Well, don't tell me to tell and then fucking jump in and interrupt me. Why didn't while you, you want to ruin it? <laughs> I said they sat in the dressing room and clicked glasses together and goes, hey, man, we did it. <laughs> and click glasses together. Oh. Okay. That was Get good, on the with Ozzie Davis. Shut up. It was good. I like. Oh, it. sorry. I thought Spike I was calling for a second. Spike Lee is good. Uh, you guys, Spike Lee is a fucking great director, like, man. He's a great director. Okay, now I will say it. Yes, now what? I Shut up. What? No, he's a great director. <laughs> you're wrong. God, you're so stupid. No, man, he's a great he director. He stinks. He's very good. He's quite, all he's got is... But no, he's made two good movies his whole life. Which is why. Bus, which is why. I love Get on the Bus, by the way. The one scene where he goes... They explain to Richard Bells how the white people in the civil rights movement really were not legitimate, and it didn't matter. No, no, no I'm not even talking about that. I'm not talking about his point of view. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't whoa. remember... Point of view is not part of a great director. What is he, great camera angles? No. No, nothing. <laughs> no. Shut your mouth. I like Holly. his directing. I like his directing very point much. Point of view is not part of a directing. I thought it was the most important part. No, because his point of view is <laughs> shitty, that's Charlotte fine. Go no, he can have a shitty point of view. <laughs> you have a shitty point of view, that's true, but... <laughs> that's not true. He can have a shitty point of view. It doesn't mean he's a bad director. Oh, that's I silly. can't even discuss this with you. You really You're going to tell me that he's not innovative like fucking... No, I think uh, he's a, 
a fucking film school fucking amateur. Is how it no. is. Why? Because he he takes the dolly and pushes it on people's face. No, I actually don't like Go that. Go piss, you know nothing. That. No, I school hate days that. When is they're fucking walking, was a good film and they're, just, oh, they're floating through the air. I get hate that fucking I, I, I like Spike. I like get him. I've always here. liked him. I've liked him fucking since. Get him out. Since when he played Mars Blackman. I like the fucking the first one he did about Nola, darling. What the fuck was that movie called? She's got to have it. That was a fucking an invention. Please get him out. No, he's wrong. I'm not even going to look at him. And these guys don't like each other, by the way. I just want to remind the listeners. Honestly, I don't like Jim right now. What is going on? I happen to remind the listeners that Conquin and Jim Norton. I don't like Jim right now. I'm being very honest. Because he doesn't like that I like Spike Lee. Are you up for a Spike Lee movie? I've never been. No. I met him once and he was kind of douchey to me, actually. I like Patrice O'Neill because Patrice O'Neill, Spike Lee was like. Saying, hey man, give me a call. He's like, yeah man, call my agent. And he like totally <laughs> sabotaged himself with Spike. And Spike, and, 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 exactly. and Spike, that Spike called him personally because Spike liked Patrice. That's he what I love about Patrice. over and over. Yeah. And Patrice is so stupid. Spike is like he's trying. Not to... stupid. He's great because he's a sabotaging comedian. He's like, fuck you. Well, sabotaging, <laughs> yes. But Spike is like, look, I really want you to be on hold for this movie. And Patrice was like trying to go have a pilot season. And Spike just went. <sighs> All right, then. No. And Patrice wasn't him. trying to go off a pilot season. He wanted oh. to be available, I think. Patrice oh. just doesn't like people trying to get cocky with him, and that's what's beautiful. And help him. Patrice doesn't like help and niceness. <laughs> Tony, you know, Malcolm X was a very piss. good movie. What happened to the break? Tony, you know, like Malcolm X? Yeah, right. What happened to the piss? I don't know. Well, those are two good movies, Spike. I'm going to say do the right thing. I'm not one. talking to him but again I wanna... about the subject. This is, the, the... Yeah, that was good. That, 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 that vomit video. Yeah. You know what I like to put under that? <laughs> We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> and just show all, just write out the whole constitution that was painstakingly put together under musket point in like the 1700s. As they're uh, as puking, puking shit puking into shit each other's mouth. watching it. Yeah. If you took that off the air, people would cry censorship. <laughs> well, you know what? This fucking world is finished. That's not an American thing. That video is Brazilian. You're right. No. That's my point. Listen, guys, um, <laughs> I'm going to come back in a few weeks when he goes to fucking night school. <laughs> hey, shithead. Nothing to do with this country. <laughs> Sorry, okay. gray, you short lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> but Colin's had the fucking same forehead since he was 22. Exactly. You lost it at 22. I'm take this abuse from Oxygen Network executive. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the uh, terrestrial side. So I wanted to promote their movie, but, but I didn't have a copy to watch myself. No, we can watch I mean, it. The way you, you obviously got an eye for directing, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, they don't care about that. They don't care the, the abbreviated show. version of it. They yeah. don't care on this show. Which, which coincidentally looks like your sidekick, Norton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sidekick. Yeah, that's Side the kick. that I hurt the most. <laughs> yeah. All right, this Why you thought you were an equal? You're a sidekick, and don't forget it. Uh, I guess it, that's, that's, I'm below equal and above lackey. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, this last clip I'm is... certainly above mechanic. <laughs> 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 oh, why don't you bring the tools? <laughs> well, that's the deal. Then he drives off, and I wave goodbye. Good job, Jerry. Oh, he didn't yeah. even look in his mirror. Make sure you get that. Don't mistake green light, Jerry. That's when it stalls again. Bye. He's waving, and he's getting like a puff of like exhaust smoke in his face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jerry. It's almost as embarrassing as the other night when Jerry came in, and Jim goes like the equals now. Hey, Jerry. And Jerry goes, hey. And then later I go, you didn't remember his name? He goes, yes, I do. James. He didn't remember that fool. <laughs> I saw him the other night. You're not as equal. He doesn't know who I'm you are. I'm not as equal, but he always calls me Nortone. That's what he calls and me. And today he called you James because he was stuttering because he didn't recognize you because he didn't see you anymore. He, he didn't know whether to call me Jim, Jimmy. Hey, You're a majestic now. irrelevance. Now go on with that uh, Oprah thing, please. <laughs> That's not true. He knew me very well. <laughs> At he least he didn't get French. gravel to the forehead as Jerry <laughs> pulled away. Exactly. <laughs> I don't believe it was a nonstop. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he laid over and uh, and flew back. Because uh, if I knew certain things were a quick jump from here, he knew it. And he flies enough. I believe it was not a nonstop. Really? Yeah. That's great. Well, we're not really the, the best part. I mean, I, I could be wrong. The best dramatic part of the story is not the flight pattern, you <laughs> bore. No, it does. <laughs> I want to know where he went and what he did there. Well, it does. Yeah, thank you, what you, how do you I believe, uh, actually, no, wait a minute. Let me what look. Go on American Airlines and I want to flew. <laughs> he didn't I understand he flew. Stupid as I point. No, you don't. Where are you going to Erie, Pennsylvania? How do you think he got there? I think he's like a real puddle he... jumper. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got out and pushed the plane down the middle lane. Oh! Da-da-da-da-da-da.
I, oh, I heard that actually. That's what yeah, and that, me. that, like, made, I, that <laughs> made that made. <laughs> I was listening to the show and I was so mad. Where's all that phony came in? The troubled sleepless artist. I had a fight with my girlfriend, so I just wandered. I have free. a pinch, Nick. <laughs> Shut up! I know I was with you last night. Listen I'm to that sore. <laughs> did you try those exercises? Were they, I, you know what? I just did them against the wall. And you know what? He looked silly. Really <laughs> yeah. What, what, what were they fighting about? Do you know? Or maybe happened. you don't want to blow no, up God. Well, we all had. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I had, oh, everything was fine at dinner. It started mm. after. And then I guess they left, and you know, hey, fight. maybe they're, they're like fighting. a lifetime abuse couple, where out in public they look fine and everything, exactly. but inside I think Behind Jimmy's hitting doors, her with phone books, right. hitting her with phone devil. books. And maybe hey. they were fighting over the fact that she probably noticed that Jim's. Expensive caddy looks like a uh, caddy Camry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the least caddy ca caddy you've ever seen. <laughs> I have never, I have never seen your caddy. Really? Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice I used bike. to drive around in old Toyota old dumps here, doing God knows what. Or maybe he's flying to one place. We really don't know. No, according to Jimmy, the important part of the story is that there might be a transfer flight. <laughs> <laughs> a few people could have heard the crushing bore that is Jim Norton before going. I think, you know, if you really look at some of the patterns of Delta, they have, actually have, a, they have a couple there's of two-hour flights. There's a very good possibility of a layover. <laughs> when figuring out where somebody went, if you you have to figure out how long it took them to get there, and we know where airport he left from, so was it like a layover, a delay? You have to know how else he's put. Were you just going to guess everywhere in the world? He yes. went somewhere. What All just right. happened to you right now? You doing like you 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 turned into a horrible character. What? <laughs> it's like a modern day Peter Laurie. It's scary. He's just like this. Really. You get, uh, no, but God. I mean, I'm trying Stop to figure talking. out where it was. Crap. How do you think Dr. Cock would feel if he knows Jimmy's fascinating and he only took one semester at Essex Community College? <laughs> <laughs> don't try to, you're trying to play catch up on your idiocy now. Please don't try it. <laughs> you're like kind of naturally smart, but you're not well read and you're not educated. I happen to Drop have a better it. grasp on theoretical physics, physics than you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the stupidest I come. Doesn't Colin make you feel dumb? Yeah. No, not at all. Because I know what I am, my limitations. I'm a creep and a kind of a half dummy who thinks he's smart. Do you think he noticed the look of fear in Jim's eyes when Jim asked him some idiotic question? He turned him and Jim was afraid of being exposed. He's like, ah, ah. I, <laughs> I give him the creeps, too. Maybe because you were 112 on the bestseller list. <laughs> oh, this is called the multiverse idea. You're freaking me out now. Yeah, man. and believe it or not, in one of these universes, Elvis Presley could still be alive. I mean, blows the mind, right? <laughs> Is he healthier, or is he like still shaped like Colin? <laughs> oh, God. See how that hurts Colin when they start poking fun in the middle of a physics discussion? Yeah, what? in a parallel universe. Oh, no, you. Jim. I don't think you really wanted to get me into this, because I wrote down a few of your lines you said to the doctor oh, oh, before no. you got on yeah, the Yeah, they were air. having a little small chat before we got back with the show. Was and Colin was Jim, if you could have seen, folks, observing, the yeah. phoniness, yeah. Norton leaning in the doctor with a bewildered look on his face going, what? I guess this guy's like a fan. Norton starts trying to talk. Here's what he said. Uh, your book's doing well, though, for a science book to be in the top uh, uh, oh. because your competition. No, what I was saying well, was. No, that's that, in a direct quote. No, you missed For missed, a science book to be in the top uh, uh, because your competition. You, you took me out of context. <laughs> that makes me sound like a fool. <laughs> I was saying is that the book is now number 12 on the bestseller list. I know. Which yeah. is amazing because amazing. you're competing with a lot of non-science books. And for a scientific right, book. Right, that guys be, like you. But you were kind of the way yeah. you were saying it, the tone. Non-science books that guys like us wouldn't sully our hands with, doctor. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> nine science well, books. You what know, do you say like they're, your they're, idiotic book? Admit so, to him that's who he's competing against. All right, so now I understand the River yeah. of Time thing, but uh -huh. it's like a lot of people probably don't. Why are you pointing at Colin as you say that, Jimmy? I'm, I'm not just gesturing to Colin, I'm just gesturing in general. <laughs> so yeah. I was wondering if you could more carefully explain what the River of Time means, because I don't want to seem like I'm ignorant, but for the listeners. No, like you said, more, <laughs> what he said, more carefully explain. <laughs> more carefully explain. Now think of it this way, uh, Newton. Uh, Newton. By can, the I, way. By, can I say how happy I am, by the way, that when you said the aha, uh -huh, but the river doesn't go backwards, he was so ready. He, every blithering idiot he's talked to has said that, and he had an answer for it. I'm the only one happy. that actually thought to ask that question, stupid. You just sat there like this. Uh. Because I assume, <laughs> shut up. I assume the river would shut go up. backwards. I don't need to. He ask. was happy to have a debate, a spirited debate with a, a peer. <laughs> okay. Just as important. <laughs> When you, going back to the Big Bang Theory, at what stage of human development did this kind of tadpole look? 
<laughs> As he points to Jim Norton. Of course he yeah. does. Yeah. I don't even yeah. think he needed to explain where. Yeah. Like, everyone knew where he pointed. <laughs> he couldn't have pointed anywhere else. He certainly wasn't going to point at himself. I wish I had well, an Adam Smash and a smash your face in right now. <laughs> You've been in an elevator with Jimmy, you know that. And, uh, and, yes. and he's been talking about you for years on this program. Uh -huh. And all he wants is some kind of recognition the next time you see him. That's all he's uh -huh. asking for. Just a hello. Okay. Just a little hello, a little nod. Uh -huh. well, the next time he asks your question, remember, the inside of his brain looks like that picture. <laughs> what picture are you showing? Two ultimate fighters just kicking each other in the face. <laughs> We were, uh, Anthony and I uh -huh. had a debate one time about gravity. Gravity, which yes. Which I was wrong it's about. everywhere. And, uh, but, well, no, about what made, like, if a planet has to spin. I thought a planet had to spin. No, and I said it, it was mass. Of course, things that have more mass have more gravity, and uh, Jimmy wouldn't listen to me. He thought it was the spinning motion that yeah. made gravity. I'm like, no, that, no. Well, you were right, and I, I uh, of course I was. Dr. Cock on an elevator, and I asked him about that. And the look he gave me, you would think I would just say, hey, can I have a hug? <laughs> I do want Colin's observations of the uh, the interview. Well, I honestly... Were, were we mean, showing, like, some intelligence in front of Dr. Kaku, you think? Yeah, I thought that, well, I thought that Anthony showed that he had a kind of an gra uh, interesting grasp of those kind mm. of scientific things that guys like us don't really care about. And then Norton was... <laughs> really Norton about. really had some good... A couple of good things, like you could tell he really studied, but it was so forced. It was like watching. It was he was pushing it. I expected a brain hemorrhoid out of him. No, he was put, <laughs> Shut no. up and let me finish, please, Jim. You're being out of line. You're a phony who was trying to fit in with the doctor. <laughs> Whereas Anthony spent a lifetime researching that stuff. Three years ago. Three years ago. You decided, you know what, I'm really going to bone up on some of my scientific knowledge. <laughs> and you started reading, but I can tell you almost had a headache going, uh, Doctor, <laughs> everything you did was a strain, and I felt it. No, no, no. What happens is this. The doctor and I were discussing a few things. I wanted to discuss the distance to Alpha Centauri, but he blew by it. So I was fine with you that. You knew the distance. Of course I did. Of course. Fucking light year is six trillion miles. Everybody it, knows it was, that. It was you comparable. know why it's called a light year? Yes, because that's the distance. It's, Light it's, it's will not travel as heavy as year. another type of year. <laughs> it's less filling. <laughs> him asking, him asking the, less calories. <laughs> him asking the distance it was it was comparable to this morning when he started asking if you changed flights on your trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Light travels a certain distance in a year. Yes. It's approximately six trillion miles. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think a light year Boring. is a, a measure Boring. of time. No, it's distance. When it is distance. Six Indeed. trillion miles. Yes. No, what he, what he does in his book is he goes over stuff and he tells you like these crazy things that were Pointing in Pointing an index finger doesn't make you an intellectual. That's true. <laughs> but I, I, do it I, love, I love when you would rip him on, on your show, too. Yeah. He, because yeah. Jimmy would like, yeah. He'd put his finger up on his chin and be like, or he's, he'd he'd put his chin in between his thumb and forefinger. It was like it was like a silent movie version of an intelligent guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin would not let a moment slip by. Uh, yeah. He would not let that moment leave. He'd have to call you out on it every time you tried well, to sound that's smart. That's what Colin likes to do. He likes to knock a man down while he's making a point. That's fine for Colin. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, that's a very valid point with the good doctor. A couple mm -hmm. of men of similar ilk. <laughs> of course. Discussing space and time travel and theorizing <laughs> about making things go bye-bye, as I would say. Uh, uh, certainly does. He shoot, does I'm sorry I'm doing Jimmy's. He does a fine job with it. I'm right. sorry. I didn't mean to do Jimmy's bit that Michael Keaton did on Letterman in 81. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? I, I don't know. Uh, 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 I didn't watch Letterman in 81. I wasn't well, doing stand-up back 85, then. 85, <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> I guess not, thief. Anyway, um, I never saw Michael Keaton do that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of his. What did he do on Letterman? Doesn't matter. You he, stole it to us. You no. now. Currently, I'm a has been, but I think we all know, and nobody knows better than this little worm sitting here, that I'm obviously going to make one more comeback because I'm not a genius. I'm a very smart asshole. <laughs> and when I make my comeback, he better be on my good side because I'll crush you like a bug. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do. <laughs> Jimmy just looked at him. Jimmy's look at Colin was one of just, "Are you fucking kidding me?" It was just he Time just blew help. you off. You didn't even fucking give what you said any consideration. Well, I don't like the fact that I defended him and said he wasn't a hack, and he still called me a worm and attacked mm -hmm. me about his big comeback. Because he goes Shut to up. me. Because he's sorry. not a hack. Pick the food you can out say of a lot of things mouth. about him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can. 
Right, so I'm saying you don't, like you don't know how to wipe support- crumbs off your mouth. Like, don't say you were supporting me. Wipe the crumbs off your thin lip. <laughs> don't say you were supporting <laughs> Thank me. Thank you, fucking old lady. <laughs> fucking dumping tea. On don't your act like you're doing me a favor by going. He's not a hockey. You say a lot of things about him. I don't need it. He's got crumbs all over his picture. Well, no, I wanted table, you sir. insulted but fucking accurately. <laughs> exactly, but then don't say Watch I was defending him. Uh, uh, God damn it, I was just going to say that. Of course you are, Jimmy. Me and you think alike. You're not a scholar, Norton. I know okay? I'm not a scholar. I'm just chit chatting with Dr. Cosby. No, you, no, you're not. You, talk, you start talking like you're from England, and I don't like it. And that is true, what he's saying about you. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it Bobby is. Colin Quinn's in studio. <laughs> It's, hi, Carlos. How are you? Yeah, Colin, you know what? You know, I know Anthony's going to stick up for him. I hope he's going to stick up for him because he's huh? their sidekick. But <laughs> oh, dude, I call him sidekick earlier, side too. Kick. He didn't like it. Yeah, he's he, not going to like that he, one there, Bobby. When he gets intelligent, he gets really slow and methodical with his thoughts. And I want to smash him in the face with something. But, well, no, but he's, he's got a point that Norton does t tend to like do an impression of an intelligent person when he talks <laughs> to right. intelligent people. You didn't even give your friends a fucking copy of your book, and you put our lives in it. You I, it's true. I had to beg. I had to uh, shame him to get a copy of that book, and I wrote the fucking uh, forward. No, I'll tell you why. I had to shame uh, him. I'll tell you Shut why. Shut up. I'll tell you why. You're a selfish cock No, I was fuck. happy. I was happy to get a copy of that. Fuck you. No. Fuck you, no. I'll tell you why. We know why. You cock sucker. We know why. You motherfucker. <laughs> Not you at all. Shit it. I was actually embarrassed to walk up and go, here's my book. To oh, be really? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Don't you understand what it was? It was self-esteem. He's embarrassed. a humble guy. And Fuck Bob, off. Put a fucking little unicorn thing on the tip of Robert. <laughs> Looks like it's flying through a cloud. <laughs> but, you know, you're a fun one to talk. Hey, I'm sitting there Saturday night. We're all sitting at the table. This phone, he breaks out his computer mm -hmm. and starts typing his second great uh, epic novel. That's right. You know, we're all sitting there. It's kind of weird. And it's like, it's not only pompous and pretentious, but it's really rude. You no, know, it's not really. there and he's got a little laptop. You're all sitting around the table. And he's right? got like a solemn look on his face like, mm -hmm. yes, he's I'm like, here to work. Uh, Hey, uh, elbow guys, piece. go across the street to a coffee shop, you little cocksucker. <laughs> I'll tell you why, no. I get worked on at the cellar because I can't cruise sexual shit. I can't cruise sexual. I'm going to just watch Nobody's you interested in your process. <laughs> My Sunday? skit is on free. Yeah, I guess I'm not on Thursday. Like this phony over here. 212 mm. 757 <laughs> 4100. I'm guessing you're doing two Friday. Two Saturday and one Saturday. I like that right. jaded, but I'm still a pro and going to give the number. Shut I have up. To. I want people to come Shush. see you. I what also. Uh, they didn't run your Good Morning America, you phony. I know they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. They never ran it. <laughs> I heard they were getting B roll oh, for the really? piece. I know, but that's where I heard yesterday. already there, so yeah, why would I there. do that? Yeah, he was promoing Carol. I think I saw him for last week. Oh. They, what Oops. is Steve talking? Somebody said yesterday they were looking for B roll. But they it's like you already did the I don't know why they did I guess they didn't like the piece. Well, maybe they're looking forward to your next performance there. But like last week, I just when I, if I wake up at like six thirty in the morning, just put on the show for a few minutes, I fall back asleep. Last week, I put on literally one thing. Some dumbass calls and he goes, well, "Why don't you have Colin push Jerry's car?" <laughs> and I hear Anthony explain, "Oh yeah, when Colin pushed Jerry's car and Norton, and I wish I could attack." He goes, "Ha ha." With like the meanest little spike. <laughs> I wanted to get up again and come in again. I was so mad. I wanted to come in. I was fuming. Ha ha. Yes. Is that, that a line? Okay. I was just happy to call. Yeah. But if you can get that isolated Jim's cruel little mean little laugh. Cruel. I really wanted to come in and punch him in his face so badly. That <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It was early in the morning. I just thought, yeah. oh, let's do the show before I fall back asleep, you know, in a few minutes. Sure. Oh, it made me livid. Uh, why don't we... I was livid. You wake up at 6 every morning? By the way, I love the fact that Norton goes, yeah, he ran down here, he left like an hour ago, like as if he's Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> you little wimp. <laughs> hey, he's not in shape like me, Jim Norton. Because I go on my treadmill and my building for 20 minutes a day. Elliptical. I do elliptical for 35. Exactly. Like work. Ooh, elliptical. Yeah. <sighs> and back and forth. And back and, and Like on. this, right, Jerry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Move those arms. Special. Move those arms. Um, so yeah. Colin wakes up, you said, like an old guy. I wake up like an old man sometimes, and I just put on the radio. And yeah. If I hear you guys, if I hear something infuriating about me, or like in this case, Norton going, hey, these guys are theater acts. Yeah. He's stamp, <laughs> imp, what do they call it, impremptor yeah. uh, on Gallagher, of all people. He's like, these guys are theater acts, <laughs> and they work in a club. It's like, 
And he had like, if you could just replay it, the enthusiasm in his voice. <laughs> he, God forbid, the we most jaded bastard with us, his friends. Yeah, this guy. And with Gallagher. These guys are theater acts. I wish you had that. Well, of course you have it. Kid. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find Thank it. Thank you. We were doing a live read from Vinny's Club in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Bubbling with enthusiasm. Yeah, the stress yeah. factor. Over Gallagher. Yeah, yeah. we were naming yeah. some comedians, and Jimmy's like, these are all theater acts. Well, <laughs> And first of all, he didn't ask you to pipe in. He was doing the promo. Save it for your own stuff. Well, I was helping Vinny out. You were not helping Vinny, and you were not helping Opie or Anthony. You don't help Opie or Anthony, the truth, in all these years. You hinder them and help yourself. I was just, okay, that's fair enough. Kind of accurate. Uh, uh, (laughs) Colin occasionally does raise valid points. We have a a rat among us. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to make it. Why do you look right at Jim Norton right then? Because he looks like a pink eyed rat. (laughs) (laughs) You should get pink you should get pink tinted uh... (laughs) I'm so happy that we all know you mean contact lenses and yet you couldn't say it. And nobody helped me out. Shut up. No, and kinda like the inmites who are taking over the asylum. You think that one (laughs) flew by before dumb? Just for that, um, I'm giving of course he did. Just for that, I'm giving my new suggestion. Yeah. You guys should force Norton. To every day wear whatever Hillary Clinton's pantsuit was the day before. Oh, I'll pay for God, them with clip on earrings. <laughs> these are all theater acts he's got. Gallagher and Talent. Amazing. Are all theater acts. The Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. <laughs> They're all theater acts like you care. The commercial <laughs> is <laughs> over. Yeah. 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 Uh, you you all... seeing Colin's point now? It's, it's yeah. Pa- yeah, it's like it's, he says Gallagher like it's Patrick Stewart in Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> They're all theater acts. I mean, these guys do legitimate stuff. Uh. It's the OP and Anthony Show. Starring Jim Norton. Featuring Colin Quinn. Well, technically, they called me up to film for Anthony, so technically, I'm Norton's boss. Oh, I like that. You shut up today. No. no a- shut your mouth. Actually, I'm your boss. actually, you don't you don't get all the, the noise things. Right. We gave all the noise things to Jimmy today. Ah. <laughs> so he's your ah. boss. Ah. See, that's okay. Jimmy. Jimmy's got. Uh... <laughs> See, I'm telling you, things are changing around here. They this really is the are. first day we officially gave Jimmy the the stuff. The noise stuff. The noise, noise stuff. He's got the wacky whistle. He's got the slide whistle. He's got the honker. He's got the inappropriate bell. And then he's got the big noise machine. That's exactly yeah. what he's been secretly clamoring to bring on stage <laughs> for his act. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fans, we're on. They'll go, yay, we recognize that. And Jimmy's like, anyway, what else? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy things out there. The world is tripping. Do I get Anthony's pay for the day? <laughs> well, yeah, you should. Oh, should he should get paid for today? He's out there, you know. But why would you? Get, why don't I get Anthony's pay? And you get my pay. Because he's sitting at Anthony's. Yeah, I'm but Anthony's I chose seat. not to. I could have sat Anthony's. But you are here to replace Anthony, not you. No, you're, just you're here to be you. You weren't smart enough to to be Anthony today. You should have took the you, day. All right, you left Anthony's Anthony. seat empty. Colin is not dumb. He's an opportunist. He yeah. sat right in Anthony's seat. Ah. Oh, but Jimmy does have uh, his buttons today, so plus, that could be a problem. And plus, you know what? I take it back. Jimmy's earned his money already. Hi, this is Jim Norton. Please go to see <laughs> the great star of The Office, Ricky Gervais, at the Wamu Theater. I have to speak clearly so they understand the information. Yeah, I know. You do have to. <laughs> oh, what a character. He's got the uh, the noisemakers there. I, know, I don't want to mess with that. If you're going to take Anthony's pay for today, you might have to throw Jimmy just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had the buttons, though. To be honest with you, I'm a little off on the buttons because I have to push them with my left hand. Do you have any Ricky Gervais quotes in there? What's that? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh, he's still perfect. Jimmy's still perfect with the buttons. I guess I bombed with that one. <laughs> Old people tend to just kind of lose all sense of shame and what's appropriate. Sure. You know, it's like, get a hold of yourself, will you? As right. opposed to the decorum to which we conduct ourselves. Well, we don't weep. Shame. He goes, what's, sh- what's appropriate? What's shame? Do you know the things, the vileness we put out into society? Don't act like old people the only ones who don't set to shame. All right, well, give me an example. Monster Rain. That, that's, not, that's not vile. That was cute. Kind of sexy. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean the actual content. I meant, oh, damn it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just woke up Jill's dad. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, no, he knows, but he's I know. Saying, what impression did I do? No, please don't. I don't need to be drunk before work. <laughs> what do you mean, sir? Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Quit using that one button, you hack. Even the buttons are a hack. Use a different one once in a while. Soup okay. it up a little. All right, this is how you make me feel. 
<laughs> you know, but I, I, that's what I like. If you and do food, if you do Iraq two times, then they send you to Korea, which is good. That's kind of like the R and R zone where you get to go and have you know the bang bang girls and all that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't mind doing one of the bases. I've never done any of the bases either because I want just to do the war zone. Like Korea, they have in Germany. They send comics there. Yeah, too. we did Germany. Yeah, but that seems like it'd be kind of fun an excuse to go to Germany. Oh, you can travel the world. Yeah, sure. see everything, but Kyrgyzstan. without the danger. But maybe you're not realizing Jim's history. He said he's used to go to Germany. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> a little I'd like little to hear dungeon it. master. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear it in the native tongue. <laughs> no, no one wasn't doing that. He was writing down his new joke for Zach. How about this thing in porn in California? <laughs> I want to masturbate. Does that mean Zach? <laughs> he's the guy that used to do the... Uh, how many people watch porn? Oh, I guess I spend a billion dollars a year. That is the, that was, that was his icebreaker. You're absolutely right. There was a point in my career when I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. It's all me, guys. Well, they're gonna, they're <laughs> you got to keep it fun. <laughs> you wave at them like it's, you know, come on, guys. We all know. It's a stutter. I know. It's cute. Well, Kenny, that's, that's amazing, That's man. amazing. Oh, yes. Do you feel like such a weird... It must be even weird for you to have such a patriotic, noble son and to be working for a gutless <laughs> draft dodger like this bastard. <laughs> this yellow coat. What? <laughs> Shut up, you spineless jellyfish. I must it different with you. Mr. Norton is very patriotic. That is true. Thank you. That's right. In kind of a selfish way, though. No, no, no. He loves America because of what it uh, provides him. That's if he's a terrorist, we would have won two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love America simply because of what they say you can do in California and Massachusetts. Yeah. With ah. the gay marriage or the porno taxing? Well, I meant the gay marriage, but it, hold on. <laughs> Jim is always saying, America, love it or leave it. You bet I do. You, read the <laughs> you don't believe me? Read the bumper sticker on my car. <laughs> Better dead than red. I've said that many times alone. <laughs> Colin just keeps on babbling. Oh, Colin doesn't care. The mic goes on, but he's in mid set. I know, it's amazing. It's the Sorry, Anthony fellas, show. I don't know all the rules of radio. Why don't you give me a signal, idiots? And uh, you're right. He puts it back on us accurately. That was hurtful. Make it in. Pacino sounded more masculine and... giving his last will and testament in Dog Day Afternoon. How? How? Nothing. Oh, I can't believe that got nothing. <laughs> I'm so happy with that one. <laughs> no? Colin? Yeah. Eric, he didn't what sound that gay in Dog Day Afternoon, Pacino. Really? I love you more than any man has ever loved another man, dear that Leon. Was, that was a bad impression, but it wasn't feminine the way he said it. Of course it was. The words might have been feminine. Well, I whatever it was, you know what I meant. Dump said it's, <gasps> it's back nudity. That's what an emasculated, fruity country we are. Back nudity is a problem because somebody's stupid offspring might say it. <gasps> Americans make me sick. They, they played right into our hands. Make me sick. Ah. It's, you expect the news to be. Well, it does say Americans act exactly like the rest of the world is all enlightened. There, but you're morons too. I don't care about the rest of the world. I don't. Live I there, do, and I don't live it. The rest I care of the about. World doesn't claim to be this free speech oasis. I care about. Uh, Bunch yeah. of babies we've turned into. The rest of the world you expect to be awful. Speaking of oasis, are they going to be playing a lot of oasis on gay rock? I don't know, but it's on one of the girls' backs. Uh, uh, why did they put them low like the tramp stamp? Why did they have to put them up there? It's a hack move anyway. Yeah. No, they, they have to block the hiney. It would have been great if I... No, my artistic director would have made it logical, and then it wouldn't have been exploited. No, it wouldn't have. They would have said, we're reflecting. Shut up. They would have said, we're reflecting what people do with their tattoos. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you want to get to the K-Rock listeners. We're reflecting. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know what planned. I forgot that Ian, you're, you worship Gallagher, the theater act. So. <laughs> he's very, he's very I'm good. sorry if I'm playing to a higher <laughs> goal in life. Well, the bottom line is... No, you're right. Let's play to whatever uh, the common uh, uh, denominator uh, uh. Uh. By the way, here's my new gym. Ready? And say, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, number six. I got to meet Spider Man. <laughs> wow. Spider Man. He got to meet Spider Man. Happy fun. Mm -hmm. Spider Man <laughs> stinks. And I don't like him. <laughs> wait, wait, yes. <laughs> now that was a performance. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Join us for Crystal Knock on the Turk and Rooster Show. Come for the Crystal Knock. Stay for the extermination. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Is, is this Colin, Colin Quinn? We were, we're, He's been in mainstream movies. <laughs> Where the hell is going on? We we're just having fun, man. Yeah. We had to take it over the top. Like yeah. That. Anything to get away from Pacino and De Niro. Oh, you mean, you mean ah, Turk and Rooster. Turk and Rooster.
Yeah, Turk and Rooster. Yeah! Turk and Rooster in the morning. <laughs> we got promos. Do a morning show. Don't get to sleep. <laughs> Norton's been awfully quiet today, and I don't like it. Why? Well, I'm tired, Carl. My it's sleep. Creepy. Oh, my sleep has been topsy turvy. Yeah. Don't get me going. <laughs> did you uh, Did you scrap thinking of uh, Bree? Oh, good question. Last Before night. I got home. <laughs> <laughs> Columbus Circle. <laughs> Angrily staring at traffic. His car skidding. Hitting a slick. Yeah. <laughs> How could you not? Yeah. Ah, oh, Turk, you're a loose cannon! Rooster Show. There you go. No rooster. <laughs> oh, God, stop it! No, we're not. No, we can't. <laughs> Colin is so upset with this. We can't stop. Hey. He really thinks that he has a connection with De Niro. We're going to spoil it. Ah, going to ruin it, No, yeah. that's not Shut enough. Shut up, it board. is it. We is got it? a fan. <laughs> Boy, these guys I was show. such a fan. <laughs> Uh, most now? people that watch that show were potheads. Are you guys? Are oh yeah, a that, smoke a lot of weed. Watch Colin. It was uh, Ken Adam Ol Sandler. Yeah, Ken Olber. Norton was too busy writing those love letters. I love that the other day. Oh God! Ugh. <laughs> about the girl you were talking about. Well, you wrote the letter to the girl. Oh. Well, it, yeah, uh, the stories they really walk about with the boombox with Iron Man playing. Yeah, if you want to know who I am? Oh. Wear the scarf. That's great. Wear the scarf and she wore it. And then it's like, now what? What's the next step? Now I got to walk up. But I'm, I'm such a douche. In one of the, and I didn't mention this. <laughs> oh, good. The, one of the Aussie quotes I put in to one of the letters. <laughs> I, can't, I can't listen. Was, uh, it was in Spanish, so she had to figure it out, but it was the name of an Aussie album. Ugh! What, what album? was it? Speak of the Devil. So whatever that quote is. Uh, something like... Uh, <laughs> Habla Olo Diablo uh, Diablo uh, Habla Diablo I'll believe you Whatever you say whatever. Oh Wow Well you tried to But why would you put a quote Speak wow. of the devil in That the was middle. the name of his album But why would you put that oh, As a quote Jesus. like Did it get to horror Is what I mean Hey Colin You should know it was me But I didn't want to say it was me <laughs> Right but would you pick Something a little more romantic Why are you asking me now Like I should logically Have gone through this Yeah Why would I walk by Playing Iron Man Thinking she'd run out And Listen, fall in love with just me Just imagine her kid. Just imagine her crestfallen face wearing oh. her scarf when she goes, oh, no, it's you. Picture oh, in the cap no. from the football team. <laughs> I never told her. The QB from the football team. This is the Opie and Anthony Show with Colin Quinn. And Jim Norton is just back from his censor and his new job as a censor. Oh, just checking things out, Carl. <laughs> and now Ken Oba. But the quiz master in 72 will be called late. <laughs> you know what? My new job is a censor. What am I going to do? Stand up in Boston all the time? Ah, is that a tough town for censorship in 1915? No, I'm just saying because I'm going to be there on November 15th. In the oh, that's right. Your second show, show is still not sold out. I, it went on sale yesterday. Brand new. They, 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 they added the second show it's because the first show sold out. It wasn't like the yeah, got his hand on his hog right. Jim's got his hand on his hog right now. Not hog. Let's just say I'm strangling something like a noose. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, oh, I got you. By security, or he takes his bike across the bridge or something every so often with 20 people around him. Well, why don't you admit one thing? Yes. Uh, and I'm not even joking. He actually started that silly smoking thing, and the entire he changed the whole world. Dublin, Paris, none of them smoke anymore. They started all that in L.A. Bloomberg didn't start that. No, they oh. didn't. Yes, they I did. was in L.A. at the time, I silly. Th I thought Bloomberg was the first. Bloomberg's no, the first one to make. Not. Jim, you know, he was you're right. Go ahead. No, so he he was maybe uh, th that whole thing came from L.A. Rob Ryan roll and pushed it so hard. And no, it, just because you watch South Park, you think Rob Ryan has started I don't watch it? South Park. Shut <laughs> up, that's <laughs> what it's from. I don't watch that. Really? Well, I do. It's quite an amusing episode. Oh, they go too far. They really nailed him. <laughs> and uh, that's got to be one of them. Yeah. You want to see a nice ass? Yeah, like Jimmy. Oh, oh, now Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm shutting down her cam. I'll be honest with I'm you. just going to look at Jimmy's All ass. Jokes aside, his ass is nice and smooth, and, you know, he's got a bed. I'm going to tell you something. You've got an ass like a 10 year old boy that's eating too much. Yeah. <laughs> they call me the elliptical kid. <laughs> the elliptical <laughs> and here's, kid. Here's the beauty. Of what my a ass. schmo. What? Why are you sh no, I don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. my God. But it was a Jimmy. good lesson, oh which is an God. ass also has a function. Wow. Oh <laughs> With that, let's uh, do this. <laughs> Colin Quinn, stay right there. We like him better than we like you. Oh. Oh. Jim, you haven't said anything all day, and that's what you start with. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy's very quiet it. today. Why, he is, Jimmy? He's right, a little I'm enjoying dazed. Yeah, I'm sometimes you got to just sit back and enjoy what's yeah, going on. Even it's fun. Though. 
Even though I guess you're supposed to pipe in, but yeah, sometimes you... it's smart just to shut your mouth yeah, and well, watch, maybe watch what's paid. going maybe on. Maybe Jim shouldn't be paid today. Oh, Carl, there's no reason to get that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to take the claws out. <laughs> Yeah, you're that's why about I, that, yeah. I, I cursed uh, Norton out because Norton is another one that'll give women titles, and I'm like, look, yeah, it's can't... usually prostitute <laughs> or escort <laughs> no, or, or really, sir. No, you'll introduce <laughs> <laughs> Norton. You will introduce a girl as like, j like this is my girlfriend, and that's uncomfortable to your friends. Well, you know, my you, friends have to get, like, whatever, I'm that, my thing is this, I don't care, what my friends can introduce a chick as anything they want, and it doesn't bother me, it's irrelevant to me. So wherever I'm at with a girl, no one should care. No, it's not, no, it's like if I go, hey, Norton, this is my girlfriend, uh, such and such. You, there's a certain, because you're my friend, there's a certain respect, and there's a certain status she has automatically, because mm -hmm. she's your girlfriend. And if she's private hoe, she doesn't deserve <laughs> girlfriend like hey this is this is okay hey hey norton's girlfriend you 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 don't have yeah. to look out for a hoe you have to look out for your friend's girl true but the only thing that matters is when your friend gives him that status like i i've had two girlfriends in the last five years i mean i haven't had a lot of girlfriends in, in the last five years i've had two girlfriends in, in i think five years um or maybe even longer probably since 2001 mm. So maybe seven years I've had two girlfriends, both kind of recent. Cut to the chase. Jesus, nobody wants to hear your chronological order. That's the whole order. thing. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's taking a long time to get there. That was what? That was a... Hey, we got a... Maybe, I'm sorry, it was seven years. Actually, you know what? Six and a half. Shut up. <laughs> oh, now go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now. Because you're not welcome anymore. Why aren't you the one who's hilarious? To hurt me with goodbye. Do you think I crumble? Welcome back to the open. That, do I still show. sound like that, or does that sound different? <laughs> no, that's uh, different. This was this colloquy. Yeah. Hey, Ken Oba. That's why he's the smoke three packs a day, too. Yeah. Wow. You'd probably be dead by now. Three yeah, packs. Wow. Definitely would be. Wow. Yeah. You weren't a very good singer. I know. <laughs> Literal Jim. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff, Colin. Why are you here? By the my way, joke. Are we promoting? I, I, I got it. I'm kidding. What are you? What are you like promoting I would today? Beg for any Caroline's. Really? Would beg yeah. for acceptance. <laughs> Stop. So we, we do that for five hours a day. <laughs> yeah. Begging for love and acceptance. <laughs> you did this week. Don't just jump in like you're Mr. Professional. Like you can carry on two conversations. But at no, once. I real. I didn't want to stop. I'm so mentally. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, I was paying attention. Away. Shut Colin. up! No, I was asking. Opie you. asked me but in a civilized manner. We, Nobody <laughs> even introduced me. That I was here yet, by the way. My but name is. You don't have not... to. You just the you voice. Walk in. Hush. No one the knows voice your says, voice. Hush. Right now. Hush. Yeah. Hush. But no, we, me and Ant were talking about something. You guys did the plug. I'm like, why do I? I know, but I just don't plug? like you acting like you're Mr. Dexterity. Like, oh, by the way, what are you plugging? Like, what I'm you, on every and level. Why, and why do you need the big intro all of a sudden? Yeah, what do you need? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Sit down and start talking. If you guys, that's what I did. Yeah, we know who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to stop the show because. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I coming into our studio. Uh, as we've been promising uh, and promoting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sit down. That voice, it would be like. Tell jokes. Like if Rosie Perez came in, we wouldn't have to intro her either. <laughs> so, Colin's at Caroline's. Rosie Perez uh, coming in? Uh, no. Colin Quinn, Caroline's this weekend. Yeah. Tonight, I'll obviously. give out the number. 212 757 4100. Yeah. For tickets. No, I just didn't like Jim's new like angle, like he covers all bases. Yeah, it's it the way I do it, you know. Uh, I we'll went go, to the. We'll go to Colin now. Yeah, but he just busted in like I can do ten things at once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> show fucking stinks. Now that wasn't is, Jed like the favorite of the father though? Jeb. Jeb but we don't what know is this Jed? Jed. Is. Fucking uh, J E B. You're talking John about the Beverly Bush. Hillbillies. Yeah, what's up, Jed? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's it's right. Jed Bush. It's Jed Bush. Well, no, no, he, yeah, he was. He was the golden child of the family. Like noticed. everyone thought he was going to be president. And then, uh, because George... you saw when the, he was crying. Fucking the senior was crying one time when Jed did some corny shit. Down Jeb. 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 Oh, Jeb. You oh George Senior was crying. Jed. Yeah. Jed. You could tell George and him. He didn't like George. Jed's <laughs> gonna run for the president. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's Jeb. <laughs> it's Jeb. Yeah. Well, we gonna be doing a little of that campaign in there, Grandma. <laughs> Grand, granny. <laughs> I'll help you campaign, Uncle Jeb. <laughs> you just. It's Jeb. I know, but you know what kills me? Here I am making a big fucking sweeping point that could actually change the course of history, and you cocksuckers. <laughs> in one letter. Yeah. Right, right. Look at Jimmy. That's where Jerry had his premiere for comedian. 
See? Oh, Jerry there you Seinfeld. Go. The, 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 he just says Jerry. I know. Yeah. And I Colin there. just pushes his car to start it. If, if I Colin, just say Jerry. You'll never live that down. If, if Colin, you say Jer, pop the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you how Colin, I call Colin. Sometimes Colin and I will eat at, at, at a place. And I called him one morning. I'm like, By the way, this is a great story. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Dude. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> an asshole. I was uh, I got so mad at Colin because I called him. I'm like, hey man, let's go for some lunch. And he goes, I oh, know I can't. I, I and I thought he said I'm having breakfast with Jer. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, so um, I just kept trying to talk, and he's like, all right. I guess my card, my dance card's full. I'm like, what a fucking douchebag. Like, he doesn't invite me to have fucking oh. a meal. Like, what an asshole. Why you, would you can't invite him? someone if you have well, not with... finished. That's the end oh. of the story. He's a dick. No, the end of the story. Oh. Oh, someone all of a sudden has interest, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I know what the end of the story is. I'm part of it. So I fucking... <laughs> I, fucking <laughs> I, I talked to Colin the next day. I, I had, like, a mild resentment. I was really irritated. And I'm like, oh, gee, I was, I was trying to be, like, you know, joking. I'm glad I did. I'm like, well, nice of you to invite me to lunch with you and Jerry. He goes, oh, no, we, we had already eaten breakfast. I was home. So he said I had had breakfast with Jerry, so I fucking misunderstood him. Oh, so in hurt. other words, was he was able to think, think quick on his feet and say that he'd already had breakfast oh, no, to he, shut you up. No, because I could picture him. No, he would love nothing more oh, okay. than to have to me rub call it in. and let me know he was out with Jerry and then purposely not ask me and then say to Jerry, he wanted me to fucking ask him to come so bad that I didn't. That's the way he operates. <laughs> but Colin, would you ask Jimmy to... Yeah, no, he was shit. Think you Here's would. what he would do. I don't think you he would. would go, "Hey, what's up, Norton?" And he would point to the phone to see if it was okay to ask me. He would point to Jerry. Like, and Jerry would go, "No, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Colin, I would do it. I would do it exactly like that." But there's enough <laughs> truth to that that I have. To yeah. <laughs> there's an organic truth to that. <laughs> Whereas if it was me and Kyle out to lunch and Jerry called, he would not only go, "Hey, Jerry, do you want to go to lunch?" But if Jerry said, "Can you get alone?" He'd go, "Norton, I gotta go," and he'd leave me at the fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Not like Rupert Pumpkin. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Now, Jerry. Come over to your house. We'll do some work. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to be twice as famous as you. <laughs> yeah. That movie's so good. That was one of those movies yeah, that give yeah. you that embarrassing feeling yes. when you watch Rupert Pupkin. That, I we guarantee. were talking about that embarrassing feeling you get King, King of, of Comedy. Comedy. Oh, God. Oh, God. I yeah, guarantee yeah. Norton's first five minutes were no fucking better than Rupert Pupkin's. They were. Show. Yeah. Like yours were? Mine always were. Of course they were. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rupert Pupkin's five minutes. What's the matter? You don't want to graduate? <laughs> oh, just bad... Mediocre material, actually. Yeah. But it wasn't as awful as you That was the great yeah, point. That's what I'm saying. To a fucking hack from Jersey, it wasn't at <laughs> all. To a goddamn artist like myself, it was terrible. No, a guy. Shut up. Who fucking talked to a tape recorder. <laughs> Quiet. To cardboard cutouts. Clam up. Clam up. Actually, no, I'm going to you... get this. I've been sitting on this since 1982. Clam up. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not telling you. Now you oh, lose. See? Now everybody lose. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Request. Uh, you got requests? Uh, and uh, I heard there's a guy that you love. Who? That comes in. A new, you have a new guest? Who? Tell me. Chip Chipperson or something? Oh. <laughs> Chip <laughs> Chipperson. I heard he's a real oh. knee slapper. He's a Jimmy hoops. says you love Chip. It's, it's not loving. It's you, beyond. It's like, it's so... Yeah, it makes me revulsed. He, he yeah, does it at the yeah, cellar, right? Yes. It's, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's <laughs> but I'm a fan. I can't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I had the whole place cracking up to see Colin over there. I'm gonna write this stuff down. <laughs> it really makes people sick. <laughs> I did it for William Stevenson last night. Oh, yeah. It was like he was punched in the stomach. <laughs> it's like a physical assault on Colin. <laughs> yeah, he was yes. horrified. Uh, it really is an assault. <laughs> yeah, I keep staring to paint a picture or something. <laughs> uh, See? There's nowhere to go with it. <laughs> what do you do, Colin? <laughs> You've been around? What do you what do, do you with do? that? What do you uh, do? No, you're right. Chip, you can't do anything with This guy knows what I'm talking about. You know what's going on in the audience. Look at that one guy in the audience. Yeah, this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and one guy's looking back, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I'm with the rest of these guys. Yeah, exactly. Right. I have no idea what you're talking about. I always, when if someone doesn't laugh at a joke, I'll go, hey, you guys might want to look over your head. Something just flew over there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Should we continue with Scorch? Bring things to He's a grinding idiotic halt. idiotic smile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he so happy with himself? William Stevenson, it was so funny last night. He was really, literally revulsed. He was like, yeah. he, sh he was moving back like, ah, yeah, he's getting yeah. like violently. I want revulsed is not a word. What's something? Oh, so <laughs> what? Nobody cares. <laughs> Everyone cares. <laughs> so what? Nobody cares. <laughs> Repulsed. Revulsed is not a word. It's not. I'm trying to help you. Well, revulsion's a word. Repulsing. It is, yes. Repulsive. Because Repulsing. I say something's not a word doesn't mean you should list things that are. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Look it up. I say it is a word. Yeah? I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. Oh, my God. What's this word oh. I'm looking for? Revulsed. Oh. Attracted with or having you experienced say... revulsion. All right, I stand corrected. Wow. I stand corrected. But it, it is how about word. I stand corrected and I'm an ass? <laughs> I, I'll only, I won't say I'm an ass only because once I said it, you lost all faith in the fact that it was a word. You weren't sure either. <laughs> if, if you would have told me to go fuck myself, I would say I'm an ass. But you you were in a, in a fucking a, a shame sweat, he's too. He's got, <laughs> got a little point there, Colin. Yeah, mildly, but ultimately the big picture. The that unjustified is, that point. Is. I was incorrect. Yeah, I yes. got there from an. I'll admit, I got there from an ugly road, but still, the final Revolt. verdict. I don't want you to try. Yeah. You're trying to blind people with the. Uh, I was incorrect. Sorry. Incorrect is not a word. <laughs> Wrong and right. pompously sitting there. <laughs> Revolt is not a word. What, what up? Why don't you guys just just uh, send me to jail for ten years or something? <laughs> now that was a good one, Chip. <laughs> I gotta admit, some people don't know how to get out of it, but Chip yeah. does. Is so, he's lying. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's like Chip. He reminds me of Chip. Yeah, yeah. Why? Guy must be pretty handsome then, Michael. Oh, <laughs> Chip. Oh, I mean, do you guys really believe that, like, deep in his damaged soul, he doesn't realize, <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? You <laughs> really think he just goes on blissfully unaware? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, fucking Scorch is digging deep here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor bastard. <laughs> That poor yeah, wretched, Chip. that poor wretched bastard. <laughs> Chip have something to say? Yes, maybe you could uh, come on and juggle or something, you know. <laughs> he really is a pose a fucking emergency break. <laughs> it is. We're, we're all flying through the, the windshield right now. Greasy, sweaty fucking hand right. on a rusted fucking brake handle right. on a train. That, yeah. Hope the airbags uh, work on. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's that uh, clammy fucking hand geez. of a man that has whacked off too much in his life. <laughs> lives with his mother, miserable. His father died. He still thinks his father's on the road. And his mother's <laughs> like, well, my father was on the road. His father's been on the road since he was seven. That's helped traumatize him. He's been bullied and beaten his entire life. But as I was saying last night, we were discussing Chip at the table while Chip was there. Oh. I was saying you can't feel sorry for him because, you know, he would have been a Nazi in Nazi Germany and would have killed on order. Bosnia, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Rwanda, he would have been a soldier and done... Horrendous genocidal acts too. So <laughs> is it too in the attic or something? <laughs> <laughs> like just ratting fucking Jews out everywhere. <laughs> is it too in the attic or something? Or something. <laughs> I wouldn't be a good Nazi because I got glasses. I can see all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at the memory. Jesus, oh, Anthony. Oh, I just God. remember this thing. Making us look <laughs> I don't know stupid. how. God, <laughs> this guy's got a memory. Looks like a bunch of photographs were just pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that it. That was really a, a slam, though, Chip. That was more like a compliment. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm so saying this guy remembers everything. Oh, you, Boy, you gotta get up pretty early. Pull one by this character. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to admire Anthony, Chip. I do. I think he's got some good stuff. <laughs> Smart, you, Chip. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you guys. I don't think you guys should be. You guys should be very flattered that Chip happens to be a rabbit O and A fan. <laughs> I know he's quite the listener. He's quite a he's very loyal listener to the show. Are they still popular? The man, the <laughs> man, uh, yeah, she's gonna have to be on a show called American Idol. Not. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, you did a not. Chip is really shameless. <laughs> There's yeah. just a, there's a there's a level of hostile. It's like really there's something you know, underneath Chip that really is just hostile and violent. That's why I say it reminds me of like Rwandan. Like the he's like your next door neighbor that'll just turn on you, just <laughs> eviscerate you and rape your family. You know. Yeah, you can tell. Like there's something about his look and his demeanor. Yes, that he's, he's trying to be funny, but uh, there's he's a lot very of mean, yeah, very mean, angry. 
And yet he'll turn on you yeah, in a second. Exactly. I he's just cool. like to make people laugh. There's nothing to it. Yeah. I've he's, always been funny. He's my like whole a life. mean Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> Cracking people up all over the place. Well, he's yeah. Jealous. yeah. He's like, he thinks he's making people laugh all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I is, feel like Chip is kind of a combination of Bobo <laughs> and David <laughs> and a lot of other people. Remember David? Yeah, yeah I David, miss David, of I course. think Chip is sort of like a compilation of those guys. Uh, of all the, all the, and, of course, the part that nobody wants to face, it really is Jim in his purest form. <laughs> Chip is Jim. Jim boiled what? down to its purest, most <laughs> yes. concentrated form. Yep. How can we can't like, get fucking Chris or Adam over here? Oh, you got this. Colin. You got the cameo yeah, guy. True. He's disgusted. I'm like, I have a big part. Do you? I'm the bad guy. You're the bad guy? Yeah. How can we not get... The, the, we can't get Bigger Chris around Crocodile Dundee Kings, Kings, call you got guys? me. I know that, but we... That's, you guys oh. got me? We oh. figure if we get you, then it should be easy to get them. I mean, if we no, get the best... Yeah, but you got me. Yeah, no, I know. Why do you want Chris or Adam? You got me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the, we got the driver. What's the difference? <laughs> Pardon you. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to be participating in this um, eating uh, uh, wonderfully cooked uh, testicles. I don't really see the point in this, but well, no, well, how did this come the, about? How did this come about? Yes, it's good well, for you. It's good for your erection. Ed, uh, we're doing a testicle day. <laughs> testicle day yeah. here on Scorch Show. Totally nude radio. Show your balls would, by eating balls. You wouldn't <laughs> say balls or testicle though. That's too dirty for him. Yeah, yeah. You call him your hoo ha day or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, gonna be eating some yeah. gonads. Yeah. <laughs> go 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 All right. Uh, now, uh, love buzz. You know, your uh, your title is up for grabs here. Yeah. Uh, well, how does that make you feel? I'm not too nervous. Not too Whoa! nervous. He's not nervous. Uh, have you ever had balls in your mouth? Nope. Oh, it's crazy. I'm gonna, just going to say balls in the, the mouth. Nose. Oh. <laughs> so you're going to be eating balls today. <laughs> Eat your balls. <laughs> Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Chips in town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chip and dice. I love this. We're having a, We're gonna have a ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, Chip. <laughs> Chip is a genius. <laughs> He's opening for me. Yeah. Hey, dice. Dice is gonna roll out on stage like he used a couple of dice, you know. Uh, wow, now who's, who, so that wasn't bad, you say? Nah. Which means you liked the balls? I love balls. He loves balls. Balls across the nose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't you rest them on your chin while we wait for the rest of the guys? <laughs> oh, I like balls, Dice. I need them. Yeah, I feel like balls so much, why don't you marry him? <laughs> Chip. Chip is like one of the Dice fans that Dice hates and abuses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dice would not Jake like Chip. He's a Jacob face. A Jacob face. What's the matter with you? You got no, you got no sense. Do the poems about the, the little boy, how he is bald because he needs money. I like that one. You, 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 get, you see, you give the jokes away. You don't know what you're doing. You, you think you're a comic. You're stupid. You're a fucking moron. A fucking asshole. Uh, uh, yeah. Chip, you're not funny. Sure I am. <laughs> no, you're stupid. Yeah. That's you're a, cool, a jacko. Who have a jacket or something? How many cows did you have to borrow that from? <laughs> See, that, that is, you don't make sense. Jacob. Oh. <laughs> Uncomfortable confrontation of Chip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chip is dying. This creep, Norton, one night I was calling him ugly when he was growing up. I said, at least I was good looking growing up. He goes, you weren't that good looking. You act like you were as good looking as Nick DiPaolo. I go, I wasn't even a Bob Kelly. Never mind Nick DiPaolo. Oh. He oh. thinks. I think we already discussed this. We did. You know what? Everything's been discussed. Why? It's nice that, <laughs> to see a doddering old man going over the same. Did I ever tell you about the time that I, I dropped my Sunday? Yes, you did. But we'll listen anyway, <laughs> Gramps. <with> that. <laughs> Does he moisturize or just has soft skin? He doesn't have to. He just has fucking, like, brand new baby turtle skin. <laughs> baby turtle. It's, like, new hard and mushy. Because right. <laughs> it's protected by the shell. <laughs> uh, I do. Nice soft skin, right? Yeah, you do. do you it. fucking hate From it. counting money all your life. Yeah, Mr. Hooper. Are you going to have... It's just you, though, right? It's so, me. You're not going to have like a you hot You should chick. have the Colin Quinn dancers. You should, <laughs> yeah. you should have a midget. They all come out and they sing, he's old, he's old.
<laughs> I was laughing along with he you. He fakes a heart attack. Rusty. They pick him up and throw him back up and do a dance number. I, I, I kind of was, but then I just took it into my own thing. Yeah, your own thing of attacking me and calling me old. Sorry. I don't think Man. you're old. He's I not. think you're perfect. Thanks. You're the perfect age to make it. <laughs> you know what? Hopefully. He's not old. <laughs> he's a young corpse. <laughs> young corpse. You know what, guys? I'm right where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ass. The power yeah. of now, right? Yeah, guys? right. You probably say that no matter where you Chips! are. He's yeah. just the worst. Because he's everything about life that's depressing. There's so many people that are chip like, and it's a little bit of all of us, I guess, but it's really just uh, how many times you run into a chip in your life and you're like, oh, fuck this prick. Why am I still a mom with Walk ass? away yeah. from him. How many times has Bob run into a chip? A lot. <laughs> times a bag of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob. That's all right. <laughs> First yeah. of all, that only would have been funny if you said it in Chip's voice because it stunk. <laughs> but Anthony <laughs> laughed. He went, he went Just walk in, low Come on. There he is. Colin! Oh, look. It's a big Broadway star. star. He's going to be treated like a big Broadway star. He has to be star. invited in like a vampire. <laughs> just stood outside like a creep. <laughs> he has to be invited in. Uh, see, so uh, uh, we were just bitching about the fact that um, Patrice uh, is going to the uh, Foxwoods big poker extravaganza I have going uh, this weekend. What this, do you mean uh, he's going to it? Well, he's uh, one of, the, uh, one of uh, my personal guests. Is he playing it? Yes, he is. Why wasn't I invited? First of all, I'm a poker master. I know. I saw you on uh, fucking... It's Twitch. a Friday night, Colin. It is a Friday <laughs> night. You guys really think outside the box. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> is it, don't you have shows tomorrow? You do. I do have shows. Yes, so you, could, you just wanted to be invited. You couldn't have come anyway. Yeah. You're well, the you same know way, so don't act like you are. You can still are. be invited. You want to yeah. come? You want to come? We'd love you're to have you. You're cordially no. invited. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know how Norton's the same way. But, but, but Good luck invited. being in two places at once, though. Oh, oh Jim, come Col on. He can't do that. Col do you have another, we have we talked about this trendy, awful name, the Anti-Social Network, yet? Well, yes, we oh. have. With well, myself well, and, hold on, myself up. and Brewer. Let me plug. Bill Burr. Which is the fact that it's like has nothing to really do with them, but it's like, hey, that movie's hot. Why don't you call it the non the fight? Oh, never mind. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be what? more funny. The, Be more funny. The yeah. Muss Mouth more Network. Funny. Hey, you better watch you don't do that on your Broadway show. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I, was, I felt like one of those terrors that lights the explosive and blows up his face. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. don't make money on Broadway. This is the big secret, no, dirty little secret nobody tells you. Is that you. really uh, yeah. the case? I think we heard that Unless from... Unless you um, sell out every night, which... <laughs> 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 Maybe Al Pacino uh, makes money. I, but, I mean, yeah. Wait, your deal is dependent on money. selling out? They said even Jackie Mason didn't make money on Broadway. What? Hmm, no. Probably did. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, uh, when I was there, it was a lot of tickets, and everybody, everybody who I know who's gone has said it's been crowded. I've never heard. Because when I was there, it was a lot of tickets. First of all, yeah, they're yeah, stupid. Yeah, I'm tired. Second of all, it was opening <laughs> night. So they packed the place. <laughs> Nobody paid. You want? <laughs> opening night, they have freebies. Well, uh, so I celebrate the city is wanted. emptier though because we drove in today. My plane landed at six eleven. I was in the studio by seven oh one. Not as many people, trooper. But not as many people <laughs> are coming into uh, the city. Fuck it. It, it was, the Lincoln Tunnel was empty coming well, it's in. It's very cold. It, it should be mobbed coming in right now. It must be a Jewish holiday then. No, it's very chilly out. Is it still Hanukkah? People are waiting to do their Ooh. holiday shopping. Isn't it sad how proud Jim is that he got plane landed at 611 News here at 701? He was probably so happy about that. I talked traffic the entire way. Oh, I, yeah. I thought what a dud of a story I had. <laughs> Me and the guy were talking traffic, and I said, uh, you might... Uh, you might get a little chatter going by mention. My agent one time said we ought to do this. Get some chatter started. Uh, did you just, just smack him in I the face? I said if you ever say chatter again, I'll fucking fire you. Chatter. Withhold your commission. <laughs> that off. must have terrified him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. He doesn't want to get shorted on two two dollars. <laughs> Homes. I heard. Right. Well, I think they're Iranian Jews. Oh. Yeah. Wow. They you might just ask. Been... Who's a famous Iranian Jew? Chris Kattan. <laughs> really? Okay. I well, might my, have asked. My definition of fame might be a little. <laughs> your <laughs> nose is running into your mouth. Oh, 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 no. He's got crumbs <laughs> on his sweater. That's a Colin. Oh, Kim, are you all right, you know, Colin? I was, gonna can I was sick. I was going to cancel today, but I realized you guys oh, needed Oh, thanks. It. So you need to get everyone else sick before the holidays. <laughs> Berkowitz, they went back and traced the parking a ticket. parking yeah. ticket. Bundy was pulled over in his Volkswagen, yeah. Rifkin in his truck. Randy Kraft, a brutal killer, a gay killer in California who tortured you guys. Right? No! Oh, I thought that was the... Different guy! <laughs> Thanks for fucking up my story! <laughs> he uh, got pulled over with a uh, guy who gets sidetracked easy. <laughs> Forget it! 
<laughs> he got pulled over and he had a dead Marine or a dead, a dead guy Jeez. in his hey, fucking Rob. car. But I like the fact that Jim somehow, first of all, he's talking to the one serial killer expert, me. Bundy didn't get pulled over for a fucking traffic violation. You no. misinformer. He got, I'm saying he got pulled over, though. You man. Yeah, of course he got pulled over because they suspected him being a serial killer. <laughs> oh, oh, they're they're trying to on distort the, they were this for your own devious purposes. It wasn't like, uh, I noticed your wipers weren't on during no. the rainstorm. No, they pulled Bundy over because he had escaped. and he, Had he not killed again, he, just, he was in Florida when he got pulled over. Yeah. And uh, he had a fucking, the seat was missing. Over. Dude. He got stopped. They weren't chasing him. That was That is the scariest uh, part. You know what? Now I want to see how, um, now I have to see how Bundy was, pulled. why don't I just look it up? I have a computer. It just bugs him that I probably have great info. You don't. Uh-oh. Terrific info, Colin. Him. You certainly do. No, he doesn't. He's he's terrific. He's probably mixing <laughs> it up with someone terrific. else. Terrific. You got the Ted Bundy info oh, there? Oh, no, whatever, whatever. No, we're ready for very, it. Very, very We're ready simple. to make Colin look he's stupid. He's a simple man. Yeah. He's like, whatever, guys. No, because you know, I said that he was pulled over, but apparently Colin thought a manhunt ensued. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what it was. Okay, good. Give me the info. No, no, you tell me, and, I'll, and maybe you're... The time you get arrested in, in Florida, you're talking about the final one, or the time you get arrested in Colorado? As I said earlier, oh. Mr. Backpedal, the final one in that Florida. That was Florida. Yes, I know it was. So he, he was in... Death. He, he kidnapped a 14-year-old girl in Lake Grove, Florida. Okay. She was missing. Then, I don't know what happened. Chris Rock used to tell me uh, when he went to high school, boys high. You know, which was even among all the hood schools, that was like the bad one. <laughs> yeah. And he said the cheerleaders, the, 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 the whole stands would join in. We will, we will rob you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cheerleaders would go, when I get that feeling, I go, rob and then steal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 they really do. Bash, you got to bash the U.S. when you're over there. Yeah, that's what they all do, right? It's good. Meanwhile, you get applause. It meanwhile, works. they colonize the whole planet, fucking Britain. They really annoy me with <laughs> that. They tried over here. That didn't quite pan out. Did that's it? right. Did it? Fucking hey, right. Speaking of my show, I, I believe know. Uh, See? Yeah, long uh, story short, uh, Colin yeah. Quinn, Helen A's Theater. Mm, it is going to be tickets interesting. Tickets available at the uh, local uh, kiosk. Ticket <laughs> kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> at the Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take that to... to uh, to Philadelphia, but if you're not by, you ought to take it to Atlantic City. I mean, that's a great place for a show. Why, what else why Atlantic there? City? Hey, you know what? That's what I like about Jim. He reaches for the stars. Cause you can really. You want to take it 40 feet away? Go see the fucking anti-social network with Brewer and Norton and Burr and Hell. January 15th, cocksucker. The seats on the late show. The 11 o'clock show has been sold out. That's me, all right. Where it's a. Uh, Nouveau Ostentatious. Riche. Nouveau Riche. Nouveau. <laughs> Ostentatious and Nouveau Riche. Nouveau Riche. It's like, how much it cost? <laughs> Nouveau Riche. You guys are like those fucking mob guys that are like, it's very classy. Hey. It's a fine cognac. It's all about class over here on Long Island where <laughs> it's I'm class. from. It's class. Nassau County, it's all about class. But Dice, let me ask you something. Do you like wine? Yeah. I love an occasional glass of wine. I sit down and drink it with my hooers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, give me the expensive, expensive <laughs> bottle, Kenny. Give the whore, just pour grape juice in the dog bowl for the bitch. Like I care, I already fucked her. <laughs> Drink my goo, it's a fine vintage. It's got nice legs, my cum. I got wine for you, have a little French bukkake. <laughs> Fucking dice. <laughs> dice. <laughs> I'm a wine connoisseur. <laughs> Guys, we got very good news coming out of Oregon, by the way. Very good news. Christmas trees must be surrounded by other symbols at Oregon School District. We got one of these stories every year. Oh, yeah. In an effort to remain neutral, students at a public school district reportedly won't see a Christmas tree by itself, but it may spot the holiday symbol alongside other religious decorations. I don't mind Thank that God. as long as they don't take the tree down. If they wanted nah. to, I hate when they take the tree down because it's offensive. But you want to stick a menorah and whatever the fucking oh, other God. stuff is good. Why? Do you think a fucking Islamic crescent is fine next yeah. to the fucking tree? I, I prefer that to them taking the tree down because those are the oh. options. Shut up. <laughs> they don't call me the inclusion kid for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> kid inclusive. Uh, well, exclude me out. <laughs> Huge, fifty caliber Desert Eagle yeah. mounted on my roof, Get out and of I here. could yeah. run it, could and I could right shoot people right from uh, any location in the country mm -hmm. if somebody invades my house. Is that true? Yes, of course it's true not. You, Look, I'm asking the one guy. <laughs> why would you give that away? I'm talking because the one guy Colin is would retarded. actually lie. Why, why would you give that away? You know why? Because if Colin thought it was true, other people listening would think it's true. 
and I'd be in trouble in two seconds. Guess what? You were, I thought it was true. See? Good. And even Jim sort of wasn't sure if it wasn't true. I, I was 100% sure. That is completely illegal. I wasn't sure if you were actually asking if it was true. I'm like, Colin couldn't be this big of an adult. I'm very safe. My guns are Jim, all I understand you're in quite a mood. You just got off a plane. I'm in a very good mood, but you have to wipe under your nose before the girl comes in. Breaking news. They got... I know you're in a good mood oh, because Breaking 6 news. your plane landed and 7 one you were here. Yeah, oh, you heard. <laughs> what an does. ugly, what a homely woman. <laughs> oh, why oh, would she son. wear that wig? I think she's a handsome woman. She is handsome. Uh, yes. She's a homely woman. Wow. And she's not all that upset. Would you be? That big fat husband of yours? I guess something? not. <laughs> I'll this be honest with you. She looks a little like J.N. with long hair. Yeah. Ah, you think? A little Norton? One of the funniest things, I was reading Norton's book again, his first book. Read your book! He describes him and the hooker looking at each other. What? <laughs> 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 you know what him and the hooker, hooker looking at each other and realizing neither one of them wanted to be with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> we looked like each other, and we, it was a really weird moment. Like, it was uncomfortable. And we both just realized that we looked like each other. Like, we didn't say it, but we both just knew. Like, that's what was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, was in my house. I was sitting in my house reading it, laughing to myself for like five Shit. minutes. I love it. We should take a break so we get uh, Nikki Benz in here from yes. Penthouse. Penthouse Pet of the Year? Yeah, she's fantastic. No hey, shit. now last, was that a year ago already? What what happened? Happened? Where the last Penthouse Pet of the Year I went on a date with? That's what? right. That wasn't a year ago already. Oh, yeah, it was, was cold. It cold they weather? met after that. How was the date? I think it was. No, I think it was. Hubba hubba. <laughs> hey, Dice, how was your date? <laughs> hey, it was nice. She was a real nice hua. <laughs> very sweet, cute. <laughs> You know, my cup of tea. I took her home. A goose, a goose. A whack the bag. Pinch the helmet. Whack the bag. And I was like, I'm done. I got mine. Get yours. Hey, take some banana juice with you. A goose, a goose. It's not even like an impression. It's like it overtakes him. It really does. It's like an exercise. I channel dice. Yeah. Got a busy show today. Colin Quinn in studio. Yes. Jim Norton, Broadway back zone. from L.A. Colin Quinn. Uh, Colin, what were you saying about Jim Norton coming back from L.A.? You're obsessed with this thing. I just think that the fact... I'm not obsessed with the fact... Was it complimentary? No. It was it? Just the fact that he got off the plane at 611, he got in the studio at 701. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's a fascinating story. He's a real fucking raconteur. It wasn't as bad as the story I told the driver. I told you before, we were coming in. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, when Obi and Anthony were on the afternoons, I would come in. And I would always be running late, but you couldn't make a left on eighth. Ugh, that's that's that. a good story. That was the end of the. As I said it, I was just humiliated. I'm even like, why driver, would I even think that? <laughs> the driver's like, what did you just say to me? I'm fucking. It's six thirty in the morning. I have to work this job, and you have to ruin my already here, tedious here, life with that here was, shitty here, story. Here was the driver's answer. <laughs> see, no, see, he shot himself. He didn't even <laughs> like fake interest. That's how you know oh, a story really? stinks when, when a man is depending on a tip from you, yeah. right. and he doesn't fake did he, interest. Did he just turn up the radio? Did he just turn up NPR? <laughs> he acted like he was driving alone. <laughs> yeah, yes. you're just not allowed to say Colin. Whoa, a Colin might anyway. be a little offended. <laughs> yeah. He's a Broadway star. He's a Broadway sorry. star. He doesn't Nikki. go for the salty language. Oh, no. No. <laughs> salty Broadway language. Broadway Nikki, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what an ass. I don't know how to play Colin it. is a dick. <laughs> what I do, what these guys do, it's not really the same business in some uh -huh. ways. It's theater. He's a veteran it's of theater. theater. Broadway. Yeah, Let yeah. me ask you this about anal palate. Because when I go to the doctor, just for a simple, you know, uh -huh. my finger. doctor has very thick fingers. So right, right. It's mm -hmm. not just, but I always have to, like, literally. Not only breathe, but I have to think of something else. So he doesn't okay. come. <laughs> <laughs> See, you oh, seem shit. like you like it. I know you, you, you seem like you like a finger in there. I can tell. Uh, Ray, he looks shit. like it. This really has changed. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Uh, yeah. 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 Come on, Doc. Put two fingers in. I heard him double dare you. <laughs> I double dare you. He goes, honey, what epoch do you want to do today? <laughs> oh, how about this? We don't really role play much because that, it's dirtier just to talk as me and her. Like, that's why I like talking yeah. dirty to her because to her to say the things that she says to me is filthier than it would be if she was in So character. she says, like, real filthy stuff uh, to you? Does like she what? degrade you or just say yes. filthy stuff about really? Not not a little bit. No, no, know. but I mean like there's a not not give your fucking asshole get a job, you suck <laughs> degradation. I mean, I mean like is there there's sexual degradation like you know 
Does she ever uh, maybe insinuate you're not doing as good a job as she would want you to do, and and you have to step on it up on the radio show? Or? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's she likes the ladder. She, she, she like smacks him in the face, and she goes six seven six eleven to seven one. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's happy with the fucking, but it's my career. She's. <laughs> Yeah. Is, is there any of that going on? Like, like you're not really pulling it off? I, I, I egged that on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what she says. That's so hot. You're not really pulling it off today. Really no, the expression that makes me calm is when she goes, you're not cutting the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I egg that I egg that on. Like, oh, I like I, I egg that on a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah, man, I like it. I can tell you're a submissive. I like that. Oh. Sometimes yeah. I am, but it's nah, more... Nah, you're a submissive. At times. <laughs> she goes, nah, you're a nah, submissive. you're a submissive. And now she smacks him and goes, yes, you are. You I was fucking little creep. Yeah. <laughs> you dirty bastard. <laughs> what, are you, what are you like? Yeah, you should cry. Do you ever, like, have sex yeah. with guys in your personal life and tell them about guys that you had sex with at work? No. Why? No, Jimmy why? Fantasy coming through. Jimmy Fantasy. <laughs> Jimmy likes that Jimmy one. Jimmy does the interview. It's like NPR. He's like, so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, quiet voice. I mean, well, it's like, have you ever shaved your pussy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's about to ask a question about tax cuts. <laughs> I would be in disastrous shape. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking phone rings, I'm finished. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't like distractions, no. huh? There was a fucking union crew that wanted to go to lunch. <laughs> you know, just get the angle so we can go eat. All right. All right. All right, Jimmy, we need to on set over here. Uh, the girl's in the bed. All right, take it. Get, can you get that thing going? He's struggling, everyone. He's struggling. I'd have to jerk it with my thumb and pointer finger. <laughs> oh, Did <I'd>... you? <laughs> Can't you do dice directing on the megaphone? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, where's your fucking rod, you homo? She's a hot board. Show her your fucking heart on, you fagatino. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Colin's day. <laughs> oh, Colin, so yeah. Colin makes everyone laugh every night. Uh, it it's, gives me pleasure to give back to Colin, of course, of the Helen Hayes Theater. Wonderful fucking Broadway play. Long story short, get tickets now. At uh, you, you buy them off the street somewhere. I don't... <laughs> from, the, from the fucking the guy that comes around with elixirs off of the wagon. Yeah. You... <laughs> yes, you can get it if you're looking for cats now and forever. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yes, because he Colin and then fucking West Side Story. Uh, with the yeah, these guys like album. to give me the business. Oh. I don't understand why. <laughs> I'm just a man, a simple man doing a show. <laughs> But Afghanistan, that's where the shit's yeah, happening Afghanistan's now. Afghanistan's the place to go. That's the we should fucking, go. We should go. That's you want to do it? That's the theater of I'll, operations I'll, I'll go to go you. to. Yeah, let's do it. That would be I good. I would like to go back. I, I avoided it because of all the beheadings. Not to kill the sexy talks. <laughs> But uh, I just got scared to go back after 03. Why? Nobody's going to behead that little pinhead. What if we get caught? What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> Jim Norton. No, oh, Jim Norton. Now you're very funny. Head off. <laughs> well, you could almost, at least, you, I, I'd be killed immediately because I look like a true red blooded American. You could almost pass for like one of those, like, kind of weird Tibetan sort of. Tibetan. <laughs> 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 or a, like a Mongolian kind of weird dude that's just kind of in the mountain. <laughs> Develop like a funny, crazy walk like this. Whoa. And then you like, like a Tibetan. <laughs> Tibetan. Uh, yeah, Afghanistan's a place. We're going to be oh. Tibetan tomorrow at Foxwoods for Oh, poker. that's right. Poker. Chip. Very funny. Good segue. <laughs> oh, my God. Chip in Afghanistan. I'd film that for oh, an hour. That would be hysterical, he has a, man. Uh, alter ego named Chip. Who's okay. Chip's not very sexy. Very, no. Chip, have you ever met a beautiful girl like Nikki? <laughs> yes, she's really pretty. It's penthouse pet of the year. Pet. I got a pet at home. <laughs> <laughs> Chip is a very unsophisticated man. Some people might call him moronic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some people might call him moronic, yes. <laughs> well, he tries to be, he considers himself Nice kind of to comedian. meet you, Chip. Thanks. And he's got a real, he's got a real hateful streak towards Does certain he? people, yeah. too. Well, yeah. it's, well uh, Chip, angry. how's your mother doing? My mother's a saint on earth. She's a good woman. Yeah? Yeah. But didn't you say there was always some guests at the house? And... No, I was just watching. She had friends. Her black friends would come over. They would help her, like, just fix the bedroom floor and stuff. Yeah. I'm just standing in the bushes. It must have been a lot of work because you heard sounds coming out of there, right? Those are really big. <laughs> yes. Chip, you're being a little rude. <laughs> yeah. Like a couple of blimps or something. I would like to just take a, Chip, a ride a little... for the Super Bowl. <laughs> Chip, you're, being a, you're, you're freaking out a little bit, Chip. 
You're making, you're making her a little uncomfortable right now, Chip, you know. I'm very good. I told my girlfriend that I, I fuck her so good that she gets wet like it's an ocean down there. Chip, why are you not looking Nikki in the eye when you're talking to her? I'm talking to her. I don't know. I'm just looking. Are you uncomfortable? Or? No. Why don't you look at her? Just say hi. Because I don't like being egged on by everybody. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. You get a little nervous looking girls in the eye. I can't even, that. can't even do Chip. Why? Lovely lady here. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Because she doesn't know me and she thinks... She loves Chip. She hates Chip. She's in the game already. She knows. She, she's polite. You know how many guys she's met that are like Chip that just creep around? I mean, you know what? You're probably right. Yeah. yeah they try, they try to, to make you laugh. They, they come to all of my conventions. Yeah. All the Chip types. Look, it's all Chip. The chip yeah. Types, yeah. <laughs> all the chip <laughs> Chip, just look her in the eye and say hello. What's the matter? See, you're really pretty. Your name is Nikki Benz. I'll bet they, he does. <laughs> What? Oh, Chip. This is really weird. Benz. Oh, oh, I didn't get what you meant. Nikki Benz. Sadly, oh, I, Ben's get, over for you, I get I get every one of no. Chip's jokes. You get them all. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Well, that, hey, don't that. make sure Colin don't use uh, your jokes in his act or something, right? Yeah, I don't want to see this in, your, in the history of the world, part one, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, Chip gets upset sometimes. He doesn't like it like the, when we laugh at him as, for being a comedian. He gets a little pissed off. Yeah. He's like, he considers himself a real comedian. My girlfriend sucked Chip's dick, though. I, <laughs> oh, no. In Montreal at the His festival. His girlfriend hates Chip. <laughs> she, he's, she hates Chip. She's no, grossed out by But it. he's grown on her. And then Ew, after, and she blew Chip? Because after the Montreal festival, he came back to the room and he was, like, really upset because apparently he bombed. He's like, oh, what no. happened? They were oh. just yelling, you're not funny, you suck. And then he just laid down and she sucked his dick for a few minutes. <laughs> She felt bad for Jesus. <laughs> wow. It's a very intricate relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what a tangled web we weave. Oh, shit. Borgata Late Show, January 15th. Myself, Brewer, David Tell, Bill Burr. Tickets still available for the third and final show. 11 yeah. Doesn't even pretend to segue. No. 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 On the heels of his uh, Broadway show, he is uh, rejoining us again. Yeah. Colin Quinn. And uh, we were talking before, while, while Jim was in the... Uh, powder room yes we were talking about how during the hbo taping you know i'm here for the old hbo it's on next week april april 9th, 9th. long story short HBO, premieres on hbo yeah. and we talk about how how it kind of aggravates me when norton shows up as mr first nighter for anything because he's got that thing like of trying to be like a gentleman like yeah i go for the you know like he's just got like he's it's like it reminds me of like those mob guys that used to always be like yes i have the envelope and i set it up like a jet like he's really, <laughs> you know what i mean gentleman is he trying about to be the gentleman when he comes in yeah like mr first nighter and he probably thinks to himself <laughs> like i take jen out we go to the first night meanwhile you know it's not really a date it's just on the arm kind of stuff but, <laughs> but he probably thinks yeah i'm in the business and this is how i behave no is that behave. it jimmy is this accurate no i went because uh, how many empty seats can you look at during an HBO taping? <laughs> and I had to go. I wanted to go to the Thursday because uh, I heard that one was good. Um, <laughs> no, I want. I want Thursdays. Are, I, but I think I was on the road doing true. a gig. It's all true what no, he's saying. It was very but, good. But was great that doesn't deny what I'm saying. Which isn't there a little part of you that goes out at night like ah oh, you know I really have things down I get I my feel shit like, together I'm okay like a yes. real guy and, I feel know. like I'm living like because my sex addiction is so bad I spend so much time <laughs> literally alone just torturing my cock I'm like this is what a person does I'm alive oh this is when uh, yeah my friend's taping an HBO special I'm going to see I'm living because I, I didn't want to go I wanted to just hear hey how was it Carl good Glad. <laughs> yeah but you had fun but you're actually doing something other than just biding time playing with yourself yeah just squeezing pre cum all over my <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> I went and saw my friend, and then I feel like I can reward myself with a fucking eight-hour tranny movie marathon. <laughs> um, I, I heard uh, from Colin now. Uh, uh, Nick DiPaolo, Nick DiPaolo said, gave me explicit instructions last night. Yeah. When I spoke to him, and he goes, yeah, tell Anthony, thanks, I did four good shows because I figured he'd be there at one of them. He wasn't even at the fucking shows. I fucking work, I work my ass off just because I figured he'd be at one of the shows. He didn't even show up. Tell that guinea cocksucker <laughs> I, was, I was at the first fucking one. Friday night. How you the doing, half Mick, half Guinea? I went there. Hey, half <laughs> Guinea. <Mick, half laughs> yeah. I went, I fucking, I oh, talked Mickey about boy. it on this the show. Pipes, the how pipes fucking. <laughs> Did the party you hope they to be recognized that go, it's, 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 it's for you, Anthony. No, no chance. No, I re you know what? A I part of you, he's asking, of course. Do you think a part of, part of him was hoping yes. he'd be recognized? Yes. My wallet. <laughs> That's not, let me tell you. But yeah, I can. Well, your bank account. now. Oh, Chip. <laughs> That's kind of what I meant <laughs> on a smaller scale, Chip. Jesus. Chip was on fire last night. He was oh, really... God, I bet. You're Dude, just the, walk, chip, huh? just the walk from the cellar to his car, 
I was almost demoralized because Chip, <laughs> it's not just Chip and himself. It's like he represents a whole subset of humanity that's just fucking depressing. You know? <laughs> yes. And it's They're so many people funny, like that. not funny, but think they are. Oh. And then some, like, the head president of Italy, Italy was yeah. in the NYU dorms. Yeah. You were just talking about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was saying that they'll probably eat a lot of pizzas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're doing that? It's a good joke. I know it is. You think well, he does? Well, was one of the Secret Service guys, like, recognized me, so I start talking to him. Oh. So I start riffing, of course, on Berlusconi and his teenage girls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I could just see Norton's disgust. It looked like he goes, come on, let's go. And just walk away like, yeah. Oh, he shit. He caught me being like comedian, like, hey, guys, Berlusconi. I was like Robin Williams, like, walking the street. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, stop trying I to be. See his disgusted uh, look. Uh, stop trying to be water cooler talk at the station house. <laughs> like, guess who I saw? Is that where the Secret Service hang out at the station exactly, house? Exactly, they certainly do. <laughs> Listen to you. They, they go what are you a fucking? Is there a kid on the desk with a backwards hat on and eating an ice cream cone? <laughs> wait, was that was? <laughs> wait, was that really? I, I thought it was a local station cop. House. I didn't know it was Secret oh, Service. Well, I saw Colin Quinn the other day. <laughs> Let me tell you, he's funny. Clancy, you saw him. Did... Station house. I didn't realize it was Secret Service. <laughs> uh, I, is an am asshole. Colin yeah. Colin I am Colin Quinn. Quinn. Like that's a mighty statement. I, I am. How about we all tweet that right now? I like we got a few listeners. I like the real too. When people call themselves the real somebody. Well, I had to in my email because Jim that's Norton was taken. Stupid. What am I gonna say? Mm. I like the fact that he trashed it and you go, well, but I had to. Because, I had yeah. to. <laughs> All kidding the aside. The real <laughs> Jim Norton. Yeah. Lest you mistake this man. That's mm. right. I understand. <laughs> That's right. I'm a man of means. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Drummond. <laughs> you, are, you know, are getting out of trying to keep animals like this. Uh, I've had, had it with this guy. Yeah, had with it with snake. him and his dumb snake. Exactly. Israeli model with the snake. What? Bitter clit. Bitter, it's bitter tit. <laughs> and then <laughs> bitter implants. And then the snake died, right? I, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. a little Meanwhile, around this the whole time Norton's trashing this, I'm just imagining him and Jay with like some koala bear. Whoa! Oh, look out! Whoa! That's right. <laughs> I would run. Jay, this thing's a little crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Jim. Don't be scared, Jay. Th these it. things are harmless? It's fucking harmless. Doesn't look harmless to me, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly Jim, what I'd say. Jim, Jim would you, play you, wanna, you might want to take this off my shoulder, Jim? I'm, I'm not touching it, Jay. You're crazy. Touch it. You make oh. the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching it. We're working it out band, right here Band, for you. band leader it. laugh shot. <laughs> 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 So <laughs> oh, uh, we got Brock Lesnar coming in in uh, a half hour. We're waiting for Norm McDonald. Great. Great. So, are you set for the the Brock Lesnar interview, Jimmy? I was telling Colin. What do you got? Questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. I know that there. Are, uh, I think I have a few questions for him. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Good Did you me. ever hit somebody so hard you thought they might die? <laughs> That's professional. Yeah. He should. Be, I think Brock will be a fun interview. Yeah, oh, I think so too. Totally. I he sounds like, uh, from the last interview I heard with him, of course it wasn't us, mm -hmm. but he sounded uh, very well-spoken, very yeah. intelligent, not like a uh, jamoke, as no. I like to call big, burly no. guys that can't really talk to each other. Yeah, he'll be fine. And don't, no. mess with, don't mess with Jimmy's picture. He's going to get a picture with Brock Oh, Lesnar. good. Yes. Yeah. I already have a picture with Brock. Oh. Is so that what you're going to get signed? I want to get it signed, yeah. Do you have it? Is that yeah, it? I already know that something happened while I was gone. No, let me see yeah, it. No, nothing sure. happened while you were gone. <laughs> no, I swear, no one's going to fuck with your pictures. Yeah, see, let the picture's fine. Look, see, you got a picture you're going to get signed. And then me and my nephew, my nephew has one, too. Yeah. So I got my nephew who's coming in to meet Brock. Colin Aww. wouldn't do anything to you, man. Colin's awful. He would certainly humiliate no, you. Got, you got your picture. See, nothing happened. Jesus. That's right, don't wrong. Don't he, he's like, I don't know what it is. He's like something. something he did something to my beverage. He's Nothing like the turtle. No. He's like Salazzo. He's like, something's wrong. Salazzo. You think too much of me. <laughs> too much of me. Cat. I'm the hunted one. Don't be so I can't even drink my ice latte. Don't be. <laughs> no, I didn't touch it, I swear. No. Yeah, you can don't be so paranoid, you jabroni. Yeah, you're paranoid. You're I mean. brony. Colin didn't do nothing. You see, you got your picture and you got your interview. Everything's set. Everything's, Everything's good. set. See, what else, could, what else could there be? Yeah. What else could there be? What else? Could... I, 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 you think I don't know? <laughs> you don't know. Of course I do. <laughs> what do you know? That they're missing. What's missing? The gloves by my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they'd be missing. Something's missing. So, the gloves are missing. What were you going to do with the gloves? I was going to get a sign one to me. You should have got. You should have got me to sign one. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I was just actually. I wasn't going to do anything, but. It's not trying to bust your balls. It's just I'm offended that you didn't have a list of a little folder with questions for me today. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't need to question. Well, I have something for me to sign, like a long story short CD. Ah. I would love you to sign something, but you just won't. <laughs> Colin, where's his gloves? <laughs> I'm sure they threw them out. Let's see. 
know where they're checked. Oh, there they are. What a shock. What a shock. I guess we've all known each other too long. Yeah, where would jokes. they be? They don't even go. Surprised you didn't put my laptop in there. <laughs> Whoa. Colin, you're, hey. like that. you're lazy. You could have thrown them somewhere else. Where the hell was I going to throw them? Yeah, the garbage is the right place for them. <laughs> he knew what to do with them. That was the correct I was explaining to Colin that you're taking the interview very seriously, and then, of course, Colin has to blow up your spot and throw your gloves away, too. Uh, well, it Brock's, just aggravates Brock's, me. Brock's it a tough all... one to get. He's a very tough yes. guy to get in the studio for radio interview. He doesn't do a lot of radio. He, no. He was very tough to get. All right. You'll get your gloves signed. Yeah, no, I know. I actually really want to interview him, though. All right. It's Jim's. It's just that Jim's, all his autographing it for years. It bugged me, and he knows mm -hmm. that. But I got a good one with Snoop yesterday. My I got my Snoop picture signed. Ah, oh, exactly. Every idiot in the world has a Snoop picture signed. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. You don't. No. Almost every idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but I've just always hated it. ever since he used my reputation with Ellen Barkin and Gabriel Byrne to get his pictures. <laughs> Ellen Barkin, <laughs> She's not sitting with her family. <laughs> they were in the middle of like a horrible divorce. They're finally together with like eight kids. The tension you can feel at the table. Oh, this shit. idiot has to walk up. I walk up and see my friend Gabriel Byrne. Exactly. And then I am introduced to Ellen Barkin. And then this jabroni goes over and she goes, I really don't want to do it right now. You know, I'm with my oh. kids. And he goes, I'm friends with Colin. We're the ones that always talk about your movie. And she's like, okay, I guess oh, I'll... Oh, no, you didn't beg like that. <laughs> you bet I did. No, it wasn't begging. <laughs> it was like extortion. It was yeah. just like, yeah, using my exactly. questionable reputation. It was, exactly. I, Your oh. moderately fucking good name, which... <laughs> here's the, the beauty of it. I got the picture, and she forgot about it five seconds later. So now I have an Ellen Barkin picture. Yeah, picture. That's but good. in the back of her mind, she'll always hate my guts, and she won't remember why. Right, yeah, there'll, there'll always be something. <laughs> <laughs> there'll always be that's something funny. there. You just left a bad taste in her mouth for no reason. <laughs> So be like, oh, yeah, exactly. oh that's, that's that Colin Quinn. But I did get you and Bob De Niro back together, did I not? <laughs> Fucking you're welcome, motherfucker. I, I was you tried talking. to ruin me with Bobby. When Bobby D when Bobby D was at the at the comedy cellar and he watched my set and I hear him laughing, darn whatever, what's he gonna do? Of course he's laughing. <laughs> I'm killing <laughs> And his wife, um oh Grace. We were talking upstairs after, and I didn't ask for a photo just because, again, he was there to, to invest, like, to possibly watch comedians to maybe play one. I'm like, I, 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 even I knew it was the wrong time to ask him. I just didn't want to bother him. It's there. true. Even he knew, but he could tell I, he was I, chomping I at the bit. To, he was I, chomping at the bit. And he probably would have, but I didn't want him to be uncomfortable and not come back to the comedy cellar. So I didn't want to, to me, that was the bigger picture. So I said to uh, the high wife, road. Thank you, Colin. High road. Good point. <laughs> that, that's what I was looking for. I said bigger picture. I took the high road. Um, the high too, road, yeah. Too well, professional. Well, you're smoking pot on the road. All of a sudden, you're high. <laughs> all of a sudden, you're high. He's saying hello to the road. High road. <laughs> I like that he's got the PG version and the R-rated version. Chip yeah, yeah. For that high road joke. So <laughs> I, uh, I say to Grace, I'm like, uh, I was just start talking about Colin. Bombing at De Niro's birthday party, huh? and she's like, "Oh yeah, that uh, was." A, she said that was like a fun night, or that was a weird night, or something. Yeah. Mm. It was but a uh, we chatted balls. about it for a bit. I just told her how happy it made me, and she laughed. I'm uh, like, "You know, my course, friend yeah, bombed at his party." But and I then, see, yeah. But then, then he got to talk to to Bob afterwards, and the whole thing got squashed. I don't feel like it got squashed. I feel like you brought up a painful memory because I thought I noticed in her face and Bob's face like a pained look like they like, oh. look down like the same look Ellen Barkin's going to have when she's <laughs> Well, you think they didn't, that you think they wouldn't have remembered it anyway by seeing you when, you when you fucking walked in? How did you, did you get a picture finally? No. Why? No, he took the high that road. That was a while ago. The high road, right. I met the Nero twice. The first time he turned me down, that time I didn't ask. Uh, I'll get him again. Now, why wouldn't you ask that time though? Because the comedy the seller, road, but... he was possibly going to play He's investigating playing a comic. I don't know if he's going to. And Jeff Ross Rupert brought Rupert Pupkin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Jeff Ross brought him in, and he watched the show in the Hit back. Hit me. Don't you want to graduate? And the last <laughs> thing you want to do is take a picture with the guy and make him feel like, oh, it's going to be this, and then have him go to another comedy club and not the seller. Yeah. I didn't want to do that to the seller or to Jeff, who brought him in. And Jeff was cool. Jeff brought him over me over after my set, and he goes, you know, Jim, this is Robert De Niro, and we shook hands. He's like, oh, you're very funny. So it's like I didn't want to be a dick and yeah. wreck it for Jeff because he was cool. But my sister did wind up growing up to be a fine man. I'm from New Jersey. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. I'm from Which where? At that where time, oh, because it's shaped that way. I know. I oh, still. Sorry, Chip. I, 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 here's when I started to love Chip. On one day. It's <laughs> 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 working blue. <laughs> <laughs> Norm's going to sit over there. Andrew Take Dice your fucking Chipperson. sandwich away. What is Norm supposed to do? Start eating sandwiches over here? <laughs> I'd be crazy, Chip. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing with your hat? Fucking computers.
Chip's a very literal guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can just look at something, and he sees funny. But I just like the anger in his eyes when he talks about his mother. Like, he said, loves his mother, but his, anger, his eyes... I do oh, love yeah, her. Saint on her... <laughs> it's all angry face. Yes. <laughs> her friends of color would always help her fix the rug. <laughs> <laughs> what was always wrong with the rug? I don't know, but she'd always be laying there, and it'd be laying right next to her on top of her, sometimes fixing a rug. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that, where they got to move back and forth to get the rug back Let into the corner. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that one. <laughs> Fucking guy. Yeah, I guess We're um, going to move into Brock Lesnar time. This is going to be a little... Uh, what happened? What would happen? What's going to happen, Jimmy? What would happen if Brock Lesnar comes in here when Norm MacDonald is still here? Is that a problem? No, oh, not at all. Norm just moves over and Brock sits. That would be yeah. a problem. Yeah. That's no, it wouldn't be. That would be a fight. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be. Yeah. Hey, who's the uh, yeah the big guy? Hi, Brock. How are you? Well, Norm will know who he is. He has a sports show. Hi, Norm. That's how are you? True. When it acted out. Yeah. All right, Norm. Brock's here. What night's that show on? Take care. What? Get home safe. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Come in. <laughs> yeah. Where is he? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I know it was a short one, but, you know, tardiness, not our fault. You decided to be late. Hey, take care. God, Godspeed. Good luck with the program. Jim has got his program with his little co co questions for Brock lined up. Yeah. Listen, I have to get to each one of these. Jimmy, right. Jimmy, this is what Jimmy's really thinking, by the way. <laughs> So, Norm, you were on uh, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> what a professional yeah. until Colin showed up. I know. <laughs> Colin took your gig. He took my gig. He took my apartment. Did he take <laughs> the apartment, too? Yeah, I moved in the same building as Norm. No, no way. You really are a fuck. Single white female. <laughs> no, there was one moment. Colin probably doesn't remember it. Uh -oh. But I was walking to the, uh, to the uh, elevator, and he was coming off the elevator. Do you remember that? Uh, what do you mean? Happen all the time? No, I know. This is, <laughs> this is a more detail. That's this how you took the elevator. This is after I had left and you had come on, and it was like it was. I don't know. It was poignant to me. <laughs> oh, 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 sort of a changing of position. You went to yeah. shake Norm's hand, and he spit in your face. Do you remember that time? <laughs> God, really he, good, man. You haven't gained any weight or nothing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, it's cool. He looks hey. the same. Because hey. we worked together in Boston. We did this movie. Oh, what a yeah. blast we yeah. had. We what had did fun. Grown Ups. Oh, Grown Ups. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot you guys were in that. It's the highest grossing picture yeah. of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it, it did make a lot of money. It did make a lot money. of cabbage. You got any points on that one? We didn't get any Maseratis. They gave they Maseratis. Maseratis, yeah. They wow. gave out the Maseratis. Maseratis. They gave Seven. Rob Schneider, Stanley gave Rob Schneider, Rock, Spade, and Kevin James Maseratis. Four guys that don't need him. Me and Norm need Maseratis. <laughs> what did you guys get? get? iPods. <laughs> what did we get? <laughs> what did you get? get? Nothing. We got Ugats. Ugats. No, 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 no. What did you get? Got, he gave you something. I thought you had a joke. We got, we got, <laughs> we oh, yeah, I did have a joke. I said they gave us uh, a weekend. They gave us a zip car for the weekend. <laughs> 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 nice setup. Yeah. Uh, you guys work yeah, well that's together. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. By the way, when I heard Patrice on yesterday, philosophically rambling, yeah. yes. I literally was spitting my teeth out of my mouth. <laughs> I really had it with his... Yeah, you know, it's funny. He's like musing, him and Norton. <laughs> 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 well, what really got you about that whole thing? What really gets, here's what gets me in general. I think yeah. Bob is guilty of it too, probably, but I can't remember offhand. In the past two years, I've heard both Patrice and Norton experts go, that was good radio. <laughs> I want to express As opposed to, to this. Radio, <laughs> hey, you want to read? That's good radio. Shut the fuck up. What do you know about good radio, you phony little fake half radio guys? You know? Not a lot. We put you on. <laughs> no, two, same joke in two minutes. Of course. Work. Hey, uh, well delivered too, sitcom. <laughs> sitcom? <laughs> Hold on, another thing you know you nothing on. about. I love it with you. Give us a stronger line for the out on that, would you? Why? I thought it was pretty good, Morty. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you got the Esther letter still? Oh, no, it's over at CB oh, CBS. fuck. What did she call him? There's a woman named Esther who writes us sometimes, and she was critiquing your appearance in the, Sa the Sarah Silverman biography. And she was noticing. My appearance? Yeah. She critiqued. You like my outrage? Yeah, I know. My appearance. She critiqued the. Uh, <laughs> she critiqued the fact that you've uh, you've put on a few metric tons, a few <laughs> a few lbs, and uh, yeah, and then Why she. Why don't you cut 
can't sue her for slander, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Colin, do you remember when Ray Romano used to do props at the end of his show? No. How about what Jim <laughs> Norton used to do? What's what? that? Norton used to do them. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you did. Prop act. Prop act. I'd, I in would... the enema bag in the parachute pants. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Wait, yeah. what's that bit, Jimmy? Yeah. You forgot about the former what? five years you started. <laughs> My uh, the, the enema joke I used to do. I used to you have an enema... an enema bag on stage. It was an enema in a box, a fleet enema. And it was in a brown paper baggie, and I would talk about how enemas are addicting. And then I would do this thing about an enema junkie. It was fucking... Oh, no, you I'm didn't. I like, hope you guys laugh. I had to buy this thing. You know, just <laughs> muscling it and overly eager. Muscling it. Oh, you've never oh, seen a fucking uh... more muscled piece of material. Yeah, there was also a message at the end of the act like, hey, you know, addiction's a serious problem, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. You ended it by going, we all have addictions we have to look at. That's all I'm trying to say. Good night. Oh. All I'm trying to say is... Don't let me... Don't have to say... To Colin... Yo. Before we, we got the phone, uh, I don't like you trying to interfere with my friendship with Jerry, by the way. <laughs> oh. What happened? Uh, interfere with what friendship? Jerry didn't even... I swear to God, Norton came up to him and he goes, Hey, Jerry, like peers, you know, like, hey, what's up, Jerry? Like, you haven't seen Jerry in a few years. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not his Jerry mechanic feels. like you. He feels like Jerry's <laughs> <laughs> like, this really, like, this kid's really moving. Jerry goes, hey. Like yeah. that. No. Hey. Uh, no, here's like I knew he didn't recognize Norton's name. Then later, I go, you don't even know his name. He goes, yes, I do, James. He had had an accident that day. He's at the cellar. And he's talking to Colin. So I walk over. I go, hi, Jerry. Up. And he went, hey, Jim. And uh, oh. Colin comes over. No, he did it. He, I heard he said, him. Hey. Quiet. So Colin walks over <laughs> and he goes uh, after Jerry was on stage because he bumped Colin two nights in a row because he knows who to bump. No, I told him. To Shut go your on mouth, you didn't. If he, if, and if you would have said not bump me, he would have bumped you anyway. So fucking Colin <laughs> was fucking bumped. Well, he could have. Shut up. He, you were bumped. You, you step aside, and then Colin I'm comes up, up and he goes, uh, uh, "Jerry didn't even. Uh, Jerry didn't even remember your fucking name. He did remember <laughs> my name. He knows my name." By the way, Jimmy is saying all this with egg hanging off his chin. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't want to say what it was. <laughs> it was a bit of melted literally cheese and egg pork. and omelet. Egg on his face. <laughs> it costed literally your chin right now. Uh, no, but I, I, don't, I resent you trying to interfere with this relationship. That every this time, budding relationship. Every time Jerry yes. and I... No, I just didn't like the fact... Did I meet you last night? I was there. I don't, that, who is this guy? Colin with? Quinn? Yeah. Is he important? Not really. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Jim Jeffries. He's a yeah. Jim Jeffries. He's a comic from uh, England. He's a really... Yeah, he's like Jim Norton, except with an accent. If you could have just seen him, though, leaning over to Jerry like, fuck this, now we equals. Hey, yeah. Jer. Oh. No, I didn't. Hey, Jerry, Jer. Jer. Oh. Been the business. Did he call him Jer? I said, hey, Jerry. No, no he was just like, hey, Jerry. But he looked at him like, hey, it's not fucking, there's no fear. Colin and Jerry, Jerry just go like that thing man? he does where he goes, oh, no. hi. And then Colin yeah. goes to mention this. Hey. Oh, yeah. Colin yeah. Goes, like, I know him, but who the fuck is he? No, no, no. <laughs> this, that's a pack of lies. Colin understands that Jerry and I will probably be very close, and it fucking threatens him. Because Colin was on stage. Jerry went on again last night at the cellar, and then Colin went on after, yeah. which is called being bumped. And, um, and Jerry stayed to watch, probably to be polite. And so, so uh, I know. I'm standing there watching uh, like the last five minutes of Colin's act, and that was just very fucking funny. And uh, so, uh, right after Colin finishes up, uh, Jerry, I didn't know, was still in the room, walks out, and he says, uh, "Hey," and he says to me, "Are you coming up? Like, am I going to come up and sit?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, I am." But then I talked to Colin for a minute, and decided to go home because I got a text from my girl, and I was late. Oh. So you know what, Colin? I might have went up last night, but I was afraid. I didn't want to steal the whole show. I'm like, you know what, Colin means a lot to him, so I went home. Wow. <laughs> no, the best was some guy in the audience walks out of the show. He, Norton had just been on a couple of comedians ago and hands him his receipt. <laughs> he realizes you can't be a full-time guy. He just hands a receipt to Norton. And Norton goes, hey, I go, oh. And he goes, I saw you. And hands him the receipt. Like, I hope you're taking receipts to let people out because you're not a full-time stand-up. <laughs> I thought I was the doorman who fucking probably sang for my supper. Hold on, just, True. just when you thought we couldn't have uh, enough comedians on the show at one time, we say hi to Jay Moore. Jay! Oh. oh. Well, first of all, you know, it's Colin. Hi, Colin. Oh, Colin. <laughs> you know, that's really good. Jim Norton and Caroline started sleeping with a waitress from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, <laughs> telling her parents every weekend, guess what, Mom, I'm on Broadway. <laughs> 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 I like to throw a bone to the, the, the shop. <laughs> Just, you know, I don't know how much we like taxation without representation. That's good. <laughs>
Oh, you, what a zilch walking around. Look at me, I'm magnanimous. Mm, I'm from the source of Holland, I'll help everyone. <laughs> Timmy Norton all of a sudden is like, you know, they're dancing with the stars, like the big judge, the, funny, the big old British guy telling about how good they are. <laughs> so, Jerry, uh, I like your lines, and don't forget to like, straighten your legs next time. I'm going to joke, okay. Colin turned into a weirdo. <laughs> You're just a weirdo now. <laughs> Everybody's supposed to be on Twitter going, hey, fans, try to catch me. Damn, fuck that shit. Fucking... All I'm trying to do is tell people Twitter's retarded. <laughs> exactly. I, Thank I'm, you. I'm just about there. I, I agree with you. Yeah. They felt <clears throat> that they needed to get what they had to say out to 10 people. Yeah. 10, and motherfuckers times. that know you and say what's up to you on Twitter. Like, yeah. don't fuck it. No one did it. Don't fucking acknowledge me. Wait, when did Twitter, I say you, hi to you? You right. toilet in the head. <laughs> in a dumb avatar with his fucking face in the toilet. Why does Lord have to be a creep all the time? Because they won't verify he smile? It. Just, hey, hey guys. I'm yeah, yeah. His, his head's You're in right. the toilet. A fucking 8 by 10 Like, my name's 8 by 10 I'm an 8 by 10 Because they have to be It had to be verified, so I had to take a picture on the spot. He verified. I, wanted, I verified myself. They yeah. won't verify me. Damn, licking a toilet. Why would they verify us? So we're... Do you know something? By ten like I have up there. <laughs> yeah, why did I say ago? hi to you on Twitter? What was I, what was you I doing? said something. There's you, idiots you that are verified and we're not verified. Why? Why? Call me and I like I the remember. fact that Who's Norton had a lonely kids? moment Whatever. where he reaches out to Patrice and in true fashion, as we all are as comedians, <laughs> wow. Patrice's like, fuck you, <laughs> Norton. <laughs> Shit, Even though we're friends, he's like, hey. <laughs> in this cold Patrice has to say fuck you all the time. That's not true. You have to say fuck you all the time. Colin does the same shit. You cannot... If you go hi, Colin, he goes, Ooh, what are you, fucking, I saw that coming from fucking, hello, Colin. <laughs> don't, you, don't fucking call me with the fact that you sit, and you're thinking, you're sitting there looking at your fucking TV, and you just fucking, I know I got a replay of my fucking special on, and you just go, oh, let me do, it's just, hi, Colin, how just are you? From saying and hi, you, when yeah. you call him, you know he's yeah. making a decision on whether to answer the phone or not. Stop trying to be a mysterious, coy old man. No one, you're not James Bond. You fucking small dick Mick. First of all, I don't like the fact. And, you, and by the way, just because Colin hurts you, you don't have to hurt me, bully. That, yeah, you went after Jimmy for no reason. Exactly. Patrice. I love well, the fact that it's Patrice, a Twitter. Protect, this guy projects whatever shit he's going on, but he's fucking not in. I answer my phone all the fucking time. He's lying. <laughs> We're all miserable. Do you yeah. understand how much I miss Tough Crowd? We're all miserable. Everybody and does. And now we're man, all man. split up. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with Tough Crowd. We all split up. It was great show, man. And, great. and it's just everybody's by themselves sad. Then why don't we pitch it somewhere else? Why don't you pitch it somewhere else? There's a million more networks now. Shit, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him so much. But I mean, did you pitch it or did you just think about it and not Yo, do it? Shut the fuck up! I'm Hold on. I, you don't Colin know the pitch either. That's course. a fair question. I, he oh, okay. did. He I didn't did. know. Of course, of course he, he did. did. Exactly. And then you got right a lot when of these... was, Right when it was ending... This dope who thinks he's in showbiz. The thing that bothers me the most is Norton sometimes thinks he's in showbiz. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know, I uh, met this. And it's like somebody from like 14 years ago that I know. You know, it's like, yeah, I know. And it's like, uh, you should picture the other play when it first ended, like HBO or FX. Like, I didn't have a fucking TV. I didn't know <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't even know what's on. Like, oh, because they're like, well, I mean, you know, I was like, really? It's a fair. Of course I fucking. And I, I, it ended watch. seven years ago. It's almost like the anniversary. Holy shit. I can't believe that's been off the air for seven, seven years. Seven fucking years. That's when we got back on radio. Yeah, oh, right. Right. Like a one month old. Perfect overlap. for that's Jim right. Norton. Jim seamlessly jumped from that's coattail right. to coattail. Holy coattail. shit, you guys Jim were. Never, dude, I went from the radio. You like, weren't on the radio. I went during. from radio, August of 02, off the air. November of '02, we started doing the the, the the writing and stuff like that for Tough Crowd, and eventually the, the fucking first eight episodes. What do you mean the writing? You mean uh, when me and Keith? The... Well, Keith and I would be in the office together, and sometimes we were tuckered out, so we would put our feet up and fall asleep. I made, the mistake, people were <laughs> I made the mistake of trusting some of these assholes <laughs> to be part of the, the process. creative process. The creative process. Yeah, yeah. I walk in, him and Keith be sitting there, and it's the early days of like you know porn. So of course, Norton was always on a porn side. On a Mac, yeah, yeah. And Keith is just like, Mah, like half asleep, <laughs> like a <laughs> fucking sleeping frog. I'm bro, <laughs> Geraldo would at least be working hard because he was in the other office and uh, and Look DePaulo. Where that got him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, see, exactly. But even mm -hmm. then, nobody really put in a good, honest effort. You never mean to hurt each other. <laughs> no, but when, if I, I, I hurt somebody's feelings. It's always like I'm very rarely would go out of my way to hurt my chick's feelings, but sometimes I got to say sorry I did that because it's like. 
If I say, if, if I'm only chick? sorry you took it that way, well, yeah, you know, I wanted to sound cool in front of the guys. <laughs> he's got I'm a single. Point that See, but no, he's right. I wanted to sound kind of cool and manly, right. like in this he discussion. Is an but you guys, this is yeah. what Colin does. But you, no, he, you all do it. Because he thought he thought on Tough Crowd, I had done something. I don't remember what it was, but you thought my motives for doing it. Would it make you look bad on the show? I was just being an ass. Oh, my God. No, no, no. But it was like we would tease each other on the show. Shut up, you idiot, that hack. But I did something. I don't even remember what it was. But he thought that I was really trying to make him look bad. And I, I was not. And I was like, do you think I would really try to make you look bad on tell? Like, we're friends. I wouldn't do that. But sometimes you do things to each other. Wow. And for whatever reason, something's lined up wrong where it comes off. Like, you, you meant it differently. Like, I don't remember what the instance was. So again, but I think the, our favorite part of that was your reenactment of the show. Shut up, you hack. Well, but I'm saying, we say mean <laughs> shit to each that. other. We say mean shit to each other yeah. that, you, that comedians <laughs> never like to say to each other on That's TV. That's right. And, uh, Nobody likes to say uh, what we say to each other. I did one one time. We had to submit our act threes <laughs> where my joke was something about a Pac-Man going waka, waka, waka. And Colin <laughs> read it. Oh, no. Knew it was going to bomb <laughs> and, and made and them let, let me it, keep just it. Just let it go. So I did it and uh, it got a fucking like a one. And Colin goes, oh, no, 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 no. let him think about what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> Did That's anyone, did, before you go, you uh, well, you, we don't want you to go or anything, but, well, but before you do go, you will, yes. Uh, did, did, did anybody say anything that was out of line here today? Oh, come on. No, see, no, oh, no, no, where are you going? No, I go. just oh, fucked it up. Wait, Patrice and uh, Caroline, God, no, go tonight feelings. to see Patrice so you get some pocket money. We'll be back with Anna. Yeah, I said 30 minutes. I said 30 minutes. I still think yeah. what bothered us was the sip after. That was kind of annoying. Yeah, was it? Yeah. I think the way you're sitting like you're fucking important. I'm just tired. tired. Huh? <laughs> he's <laughs> slumping. How are you sitting again? like he's important? Yeah, yeah. Again. yeah this is not the way an important us. person sits. I'm slumped over yeah, on my you're... left fucking job of the hut. <laughs> 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 just mean it really is <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> i can't help it yeah well, this is a weird morning yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. jimmy invited these guys in yeah 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 i mean yeah. we have to yeah. you know yeah. but, but you know we can't start any other way we can't be around each other without just being <laughs> <getting into, laughs> insult it, it doesn't matter where or How when or why we? We How just quickly. can't. You really don't have to say that since we're in the middle of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Well, maybe Thank Rich you. will have a character what? name for this. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Yeah. My, my father-in-law wants to make a speech at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, <laughs> we're all here family for this wedding that we just had. That's right. That's right. There's a lot of love in this room. A lot of family. Oh, shit. State the obvious, you fucking water moccasin. <laughs> From the fucking oh, the, his gut that came from his gut. You fucking <laughs> <know, laughs> You know, close. I realized what's gonna happen with Bonnie and Voss. I thought it was gonna be like George and Gracie or like Regis and Kelly, but it's gonna be like Jeff Dunham and uh, you know, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I hate to do this to you. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Did you just lose your train of thought, yeah. old man? <laughs> What was I saying? Hey, Show Alzheimer's up. page. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jerry wasn't here to direct that one. <laughs> Carl, you got to quit forgetting the punchlines. Oh, stretch. They set up an email yeah. address. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to send out well wishings. So, uh, if if you want to send well wishings and stuff, um, I'm sure she'll make sure that he gets them, or as many of them as he can. Uh, you know, there was just no other way to, to say it. I don't know. So that's why these guys are into them. Yeah. And we'll, you know, we'll let pertinent news out about it as uh, we find out stuff. But By the way. <laughs> oh, Colin. Anyone else going to call Norton on saying fucking well wishings? Yeah, but that annoyed me. Oh, did I say I it Did twice? that annoy you? Well wishing. It's a fucking expression, well wishing. I didn't yeah. mean to say well wishings. Yeah. But, but you we, said it twice. Yeah, oh, you said it. I didn't realize Fucking time. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like send like your thoughts. Idiot. I guess I could say thoughts. Thoughts and prayers. Thought, thoughts and prayers. Prayer. Like What's Rich going to send? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, Just the emails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send some well wishings. Oh, well. <laughs> so you went on after a treadmill. Was it a dildo act? A dildo act. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. Well, how long into it did you know that it was going to be a problem? No, they booed 
I tried to get my first joke. I go, don't boo me, because they booed a couple of people off. And I was like, don't fucking boo. And they just booed me. That always works. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to knowledge. Head ever. No, 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 let me get up, my fucking... Mm. In the electric factory. I go, let me get one joke. It's not fucking right. And they just booed. Yeah, they they let me that's good. Try to appeal to their sense of fair play. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you don't know who I am. Let me shut up. Let me have one. Don't do it. <laughs> Why well, is this old lady deal. up here yelling at us? <laughs> <laughs> why is who? I said, they're like, why is this old lady up here yelling at us? <laughs> Don't you let me <laughs> say my joke. Exactly. Let me, I respect your elders. <laughs> yeah, that never works, by the way, because you're challenging them then. It's yeah. like, I'm not going no, to listen to this guy. No, the bully already started. I said, let me get one joke out. You got to get me one. What joke know. were you going to do? I don't remember. It was seven years ago. So what? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, chewing, biting, swallowing. <laughs> well, how about BlackBerry now? Only is one percent of the market. Is that great? That That's those it. fuckheads. They I love fucked it. up, didn't They're they? They're dead. Why? Because they stink and they didn't react to the smartphone properly. So fuck them. That's With not buttons. why. I guarantee. One. I know this son of a bitch Norton. They didn't. Somehow they fucked him once. <laughs> On something. Do you and think Jim does that when he gets a bad experience with a yes. the company? They are the worst company oh, ever. Oh, the worst. Fucking, the rest of his life he's going to be talking about BlackBerry. If he had a business, <laughs> he's going to be so happy. if they. He won't be happy until the president of BlackBerry is bargaining with this idiot at a fucking fair in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> for clams and tickets. No, they. Uh, I hate I hate the way they fucked their customers. I got, I got two for the whip. Two for the whip. Uh, yes. I like to you guys had Tyson last week? Yes. Yes, was we did. Well, pretty right. fucking right. cool. It was pretty yeah. fucking cool. Oh. Yeah. He just... Nothing's more nauseating than when these two start having any reverence because one guest was nice to these dummies and treated them like <laughs> <laughs> they have such a low self-esteem if some guest comes in and goes, hey, guys, and treats them like a real way. Because if you walk in, if you don't know these bastards, you're like, hey, this is like great way, you know, normal way. They don't know the difference. They don't realize these bastards are like sitting there sh sh shivering. You know? <laughs> and what happens is when they stumble in here, it's because they were supposed to go into Stern and they went into the wrong studio. Oh. <laughs> so Oh, oh except right. except you. <laughs> You'd never be invited. It's just you're just referring to somebody with a mental handicap as being retarded, but that's which like, is accurate. But that's like saying nobody says faggot about gay people. <clears throat> they do. Gays um, say it all the time. You no, faggot. But you know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> <laughs> they do say it. They yeah. love that word. <laughs> they do. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's their that's their end word. You ever see Q and A? It. It's okay when they say it because it's F A G G E T when they say oh, it. Oh, is that see, it? Yeah, oh, I guess. see, it's not I see, the I actual. Can, I can say it because I am one. Right, you can't right. say it. Right. Yes. Right. I, I wish this would all just fucking stop with this fucking yeah, nonsense. I agree. If your friend didn't want to go out with you and fucking ride bikes in the woods or something, he was being a faggot. Didn't mean he was sucking cock or any other homosexual uh, thing. That's it spoken wasn't like about a man. It's a fucking faggot. Who has that spoken like a man who has a new contract? <laughs> <laughs> we did sign recently, so fuck it all. That's not spoken like a man waiting exactly. for one. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, Jay Moore is very perceptive. I do not have one. Oh, oh shit. So That's you... why I sit this out. <laughs> <laughs> There's many things I'd like to say. I got little buzz notes. <laughs> I'll just go back to doing Colin, you know? What do you really need to know about King Kong Bundy except that Jim Norton is going to be at Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo <laughs> December 28th, you know? What better way to shake off those Christmas blues and the birth of Christ than to go see a scallop in sweatpants? <laughs> What's that boner medication you take, you zilch? <laughs> Silex or Silic, what is it called? <laughs> Guy sits on a train, takes pictures of his own junk like he's Alexander the Great. <laughs> Philip II of Macedon in first class with an erection. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's uh, Mountain Kins Orlandis <laughs> swinging a big bat, you know? <laughs> Cialis. I couldn't get it out. Right, Cialis. Yeah, all right. I couldn't think of it. Relax, oh, Anthony. Right, sorry. You sorry. Know, uh, Jay Collin. I don't Kill like me. the fact that, yeah, exactly. Thank God Maury was not. I don't like the fact that Bill Burr actually put a whole thing together that kind of worked at the uh -huh. city center. You know what? I yeah. love it, and I love that it bugs Colin. Yeah. I love that yeah. he probably lays at night staring at his awful <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> but everything bugs Colin. I don't even know what it doesn't. needed to be painted I'll 10 what, years. What? <laughs> got to get bugs Colin. That. Shaving cream. <laughs> You're like fucking Arthur's father. <laughs> no, I mean, why is it even Ellie's? Oh, no. It doesn't matter.
because I literally kept this on today because I know facial my facial hair really bugs Norton. Yeah. <laughs> you have my permission to marry him. <laughs> what doesn't bug you? What doesn't bug you, Colin? Pretty much everything bugs you. Um, joy. Joy yeah. bugs Colin. Really what doesn't bug me? Racial equality. Uh, people getting nice. along. Yeah, that is nice. The, the new society we live in, that kind of thing I enjoy. That, yeah. that first day of spring. Oh, good oh one, that is good. <laughs> Colin's had a lot of observations just sitting here. Yeah. Bill's talking about a business model. You went after him. We're bitching no, about live Bill reads. You're going after us. <laughs> I, I, was, thought, I was literally I just that, answering a question. Why from what happens on the show every day? <laughs> That's true. what we do is go after whoever's talking. <laughs> Tell us how you out. really feel. Just to be fair, David Keckner, back in the old days when I was on, yeah. did a guy that was like, used to go on the news at Norm and go, ah, and he'd do a joke and just walk away, you know. No, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. I, I, I don't think Chip has the exclusive on jokes bombing or at all. He certainly seems to. Just, he has a percentage, if not the exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the way Norton's no, scratching no. his blueberries like this. It's weird. He loves his blueberries. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. I know, but he's eating them like a little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Plug something. Oh, oh I'll, I'll be, I'll be in Vegas something. this weekend at the MGM with uh, Atel. We're doing one show Friday, one show Saturday. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm shooting something at the end of March in Boston. Yourself, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I really did fucking beg for that. Um, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, 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 the, the timing, the, the perfect 1950s delivery you gave that uh, yourself, I hope. <laughs> Fucking thalassic pickle delivery, but you were right. And how. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'll please, say. Don't, don't try to minimize that beautiful fucking attack it, it, on you. Please. Was, I'm really not. That was my little fucking helicopter predicate. Wrong. Don't try to fucking deny it. It was a very good one. I'm shooting a special March 29th in Boston at the Somerville, I think, and tickets go on sale this Thursday. I like it. I like his articulation. I'm shooting a special yeah. in Somerville. This intermittent is that the word? Intermittent, yeah, something in, like yeah, that. Yeah, Thank he, you. In, in and out, in skinny and out. Fat. That, skinny, skinny fat, yeah, skinny guy? fat. No, skinny fat, fat guy. No, I'm not skinny fat. No one yes. needs to be known as skinny fat. But for his new and, workout you know. regime, and what's yes. Bobby? Oh, he's not here. Bobby, this isn't fair. Let's, uh, call let's call him. See what he does? See what he does? He I'll goes in and watch call Bobby. Him and we'll do it in front goes, of him. Oh, no, no. We, we can't no, do this. My, no, because no. I'd rather do it in front of him. Listen, that's every, all. Everybody we're behind has, him. We're behind him. Uh, uh, everybody has a vicinity. stick in this business, Opie. <laughs> it's, it's totally fine that that's what you do. I want to do it. Too. I, I can't do it if he's not on the phone <laughs> or in studio, though. See, this is why Maureen was involved, because even when we have the information, like, I can't remember it. No, no, I don't. She literally, I told her to send me this email with the information with Hey Stupid written in the subject line, and I still can't find it. Oh, man. Memorin. I, I, uh, she's a sweetheart. I know she's just shaking her head going, oh, he's, oh, he's, he's simple. He tries. He tries. He's got a good heart. That's I right. know. Even Norton goes, someone told me there's something with famous artists. No. <laughs> we don't have any information. None. Stink. No, no, no. Stink. <laughs> the problem is this. I don't know if it's public knowledge. That's why I'm not saying it. Oh. oh now, of well. course I know who it is. Oh, my. You're leaking <laughs> it. <laughs> You're leaking First it. First of all, of course you don't know who it is. What, do you go to the fucking museum on your free No, night? but he's a pop. He's like a pop <laughs> color. I think he's doing a teaser. Peter Max. He, he just, no. Peter Max. He just picks out everyone's faults. But he's wrong. Colin. He's just the worst. <laughs> what do you want me to do? No, you know what the worst fucking... thing is? Is Colin no, finds... I like it, though. I swear to Colin God. Colin finds it. fault. Because like that's what comedy is. You cocksuckers. I love, you it. I love Comedy's it. positive. I just want to fucking know. You did a great job on this benefit. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. No. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not bringing would, up his mic would, anymore. He would love to be able to say it. He just can't. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's that yeah. grouchy. But the thing about Colin, Colin Same finds... He finds unique problems that you didn't even know exist. Exactly. <laughs> and then you, and you sit there and like, that motherfucker's exactly right. It's a unique take, Colin. Huh? Everybody else has <laughs> been noticing this about things. myself. Right. Yeah. yeah. Colin's yeah. a grump box. He really is. I'm hoping you guys can go out. You'll say something nice to kick off the evening. We certainly oh, yeah. will. And that's that's uh, that's all we need yes. from you. What you should have said will. was, you should have started off your emails, Dear, dear Peanut Gallery. That would have gone. Everybody would have up. Yeah, see, and that would have worked. But that would have worked. But see, Jimmy knows himself. I don't, I don't peanut know. Peanut gallery. <laughs> Your peanut gallery, LOL. Oh. Oh. Who wouldn't Show have laughed them. at that? Oh, and I got Maureen's number, too. That would have been, you got everything. Oh. Oh.
You're taking Bill special. right out of the mix now. How funny was that, that they actually didn't know this morning that they were opening the show and that they didn't even know where No, it was. we... Kn- I didn't know. You no, now he's causing problems. I, I, yeah. Now Colin's causing problems. I told him. He does. I you asked them if Merrick? they would like to do it. I know, but I'm saying until just now, they were like, oh, where's this, 34th Street? No, I was just... I was thinking no, he, legitim- he legitimately didn't, I didn't know, know that. But I, I was certainly going to look at my, my info. I no, swear. No, when you were standing outside the venue, you no, thought no, it was, no, you would have been like, wait a minute. If you need me to oh. say that for the bit, fine. <laughs> but I would have certainly checked my shit. Would you? Yes, I oh, swear. Was anybody you. else on the show doing impressions? I did was fuck I up on where the venue was. I just want. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been there. <laughs> it comes the worst. What impression? You got us all fighting. Well, you guys act That's like every time any fucking comedian's on here, it's like this. No, but no, you're it, the worst. It really is extra fighting when you're in here. Yeah, you're oh, the worst. Bullshit. That is the energy you bring in here. You're the leader. Here. Bullshit. <laughs> Let's do some impressions. All right. Who do you want? I'll do them, and I'll you do. You Jimmy's do. Jimmy's great at impressions. I'll do Wigan. Okay, go ahead. Well. It's good. <laughs> Can't even knock it. Well, <laughs> uh, Reagan said that. And he Who do you said want here? Just like that. Who do you want? I uh, want you to do. Um, can you do like uh, uh, Bruce Willis? Yeah. Uh, Yippee ki yay! That was pretty good. Oh. Thanks. And, mm. you know, they drive it up. And now the Yankees are the ones who aren't spending. Mm. You know, it's crazy how it works. Are you still the number one owner as far as taking care of your players with I all try. those? I try. I, 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 I got a tour of uh, the locker room back in the day, personally from Mark. Holy fuck, man, yeah, what we he try. gives his players. It's yeah, amazing. We, it's gotten better since then. Gotten I mean, even all, better. Yeah, all the technology. They all had things. flat screen TVs at their lockers. I mean, maybe that's like who cares now? But now, back, so back then, it was yeah. Huge, but that's right? we're talking ten, twelve years ago. Yeah, you already had yeah, all well, that. What shit. about that Billy Bean movie? The guy underpaid him, and he did pretty good. That hasn't worked yet. It's two sides every story, Mark. You know yes, what I'm saying? So that made guys want to come play for you when their contracts were up. You hope so, but it hasn't always worked. That way. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's so funny because O and A was just asking me why I don't come on that often, and maybe if you guys shut up, it's fucking food. Or I can my own fucking coffee. I can bring my own coffee upstairs from the cart downstairs. They asked me to stop and get some wings for Colin, but the wings are open now. Colin So he's making trouble. I don't know. Yeah. No, he's in that new movie that that David Grohl uh, uh, documentary about sound studio. Yeah, that's not out yet, though, right? Oh, you can download it on his website. Oh, you can already. Yep. You can't okay. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Now, does it download? <laughs> Why do you call him David Grohl? It's Dave Grohl. Does he have David problems? Right. I said Dave Grohl, didn't I? He said David Grohl. <laughs> oh, God, he's such a cunt. He's just such... <laughs> he's just the worst. He's like, literally, it's not enjoyable when he's in the room. It's like he, he gets you thinking. Colin, we're not buying your what, coffee anytime what, soon. What, what am I doing? I'll never come back to this fucking show. I hope you, I hope you drop here. that in your lap. What's that? I hope you drop your coffee in your lap so you, you scald your genitals there. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but it's just, it just let me it's just say, just, you know, honestly. It's have you ever had make, making you all your money? You never had, like, a guy like this. This is a guy you got to get. Here's a cancer. Like Here's a cancer whiskey. in the locker room, right? Like this, the yeah, you, you I'm like Dewitzky. Yeah, you remind me of I know. Yeah, yeah. He's the truth teller. <laughs> He's the truth. The truth is, yeah. you guys are sitting here. He's going, oh, I take care of my players. And everyone's like, oh, that's so great. Why can't another one be like that? I'm going, physician, heal thyself. You come and eat. You bring your own fucking Starbucks. I got to put a goddamn protein bar. And you're acting like you're, not, you're like the other owners. <laughs> and you can't even see it. We own the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, man. <laughs> um, there's a... There's a company called surfsetfitness.com and what this dude did he was a hockey player out of new hampshire and liked to surf like the six days you can surf in new hampshire right and so he, <laughs> he, he wanted to get a workout and get better at surfing up there so he took a, a small surfboard and you know in the gym they've got those bonsu balls those half balls where you can like work on your balance colin balance. you know about that you're a gym rat you, yeah well, uh, um <laughs> step away from the donuts colin um, <laughs> Cubans taking shots, Cubans, Colin. I love it. I love it. Cubans now. taking shots. Come on now. Cuban, what the fuck? I'm the only one that saw that fucking episode. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. In this whole room. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so anyway. I actually knew what he was talking about. <laughs> Colin. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. So, so anyway. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Mark. So this guy. Yes. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> he has more money than you. You know, now with social media, you know, the whole what's changing now is like people are tweeting the Opie and Anthony show now, right? You guys drive they conversation. They sure are. Yeah. You're saying get Colin out of the studio. Yeah. But you drive conversation, <laughs> right? How did 
to become your cocksucking patsy on this show. Go fuck yourself, OP. Go fuck yourself. Sorry, Mark. Go ahead. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we got a, a, a girl that wants to talk dirty to Jimmy. What? Okay. We haven't had one of these in a while. This should never be a setup for that. It should always be plunked right All down. All right. Not, him. Uh, we got Laura in Hope Boston. sister. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Laura, give us the basics. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Okay. What's up, uh, oh, Laura boy. from Boston? Off to a slow start. Laura. Nothing. Is this Jimmy? Yeah, it is Jimmy, yes. Yeah, but I I'm saying give us the basics. What do you look like? What, what do you want to do? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I look like I have blue eyes and dark hair, and I want to suck Jimmy's dick. Whoa. Well, congratulations. We have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> if you said brown eyes, I would have hung up on you. <laughs> blue eyes and brown hair are the only requirements to have my dick buried in your tonsils. <laughs> right where I like it. That's where uh, you're a good girl, Laura. How old are you? Twenty-two. Perfect. Oh, um, are you a big girl, small girl? I'm skinny. I'm athletic. I wear a goat. Huh. I keep it right. How tall are you? Five six. How much you weigh? Like one twenty-two. That's perfect. She's perfect. Yeah. Like yes. That. So, what is it that makes you want to suck my penis? Oh my god. I just think you're fucking sexy, and I want to fuck you. Oh. Wow. Well, thank you very much. Um. <clears throat> uh. Are you married? No, you're not married. You're too young. Do you have a, a fellow? And does he know you're calling? No marriage for this girl. Okay. Good. No marriage for that girl. And uh, how often are you in New York? be in New York next weekend, actually. Oh. Now, are you aware of who you're speaking to, or did someone just tell you to call this number and say you want to suck Jimmy's dick? Because I don't need the look I usually get. No. <laughs> the, he pulls out. That, that sad look, like, oh. Oh, no. What's that, Laura? I said I am very aware who I'm speaking to. Oh, okay. I'm very aware. She wants, to t she wants to talk dirty. Laura, why don't you talk uh, dirty to Jimmy then? Yeah, why don't you just get me all hot and bothered and oh, stuff? Oh, no. Amy, if you want to talk dirty as well, you're more oh, than welcome. Oh, I'm super busy. You're more than welcome. Super busy uh, over here. Laura, go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh, hey, Sam has a good point. Laura, can we put you on hold for one second so you can give E-Rock ah, your Facebook name? We don't want to give yeah. it out over the air. Ah. And this way we can pop up your Facebook. Yeah, no, you can put me on hold. Okay, put her right, on hold. Hold on. And gonna, then we'll get you right back. We're going to see what Laura looks like on Facebook. Yeah. I bet you Laura's dishy. What does okay. that mean? Dishy is, like, really pretty. I'm just getting into, like, the way sexy talk happens. Oh, okay, okay. I'm really good. I'm going to get her so fucking wet. Ooh. <laughs> I think she needs to see your face when you just say Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get it effect. fucking sopping. Oh, God. It was all giggling on the phone. Oh, I mean, you She's turned on right giggling. now. Yeah, maybe she's, uh, maybe the down, down there is really, really gushy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> down there. Uh, down, down there. there is really gushy. We like Jimmy's sexy talk. Yeah, oh, I'm really yeah. good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's this, see what she looks like. Let's see. And hold on, Laura, you're on hold. Just stay where you are. All Turn right. to the left. All right. Okay. She's, she's really still cute. Here. Turn to the left, Sam. Stop looking at her. Uh, oh, yeah. Cute. That's very acceptable. Uh, Laura? You passed the audition. You're very, very pretty. Not bad. Uh, I, you're, you're busty. What's your uh, bra size? I am like a large B. Nice. Very nice. Are your nipples dark or light? Light. Oh. Light. Now, are they large or small, your areola? They're just perfect. 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 Is Any Jimmy asking picks? all the right no. questions, Amy? No. I'm that getting excited. Okay, These are not at all sexy questions. No, pick. they're not. It's like she's, like, enlisting. Yeah. <laughs> can't, can't base the assessment on one picture. How many push-ups can you do? <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> I just want to blow you. Why are you, why are you asking me this? Why yeah, but she's, you? Is that what you're asking? She's, she's in a car, though, right? Oh, she's driving? You going, right. you going to work, Laura? Um, no, I'm actually on my way home. What are you, uh, why, why are you on your way home at this hour? Busy night. Um, because I went out last night and I was being naughty. Oh, what did you do that was so oh, naughty? Yeah. Um, I just got really drunk. That's not too naughty. No. I, d I made bad decisions and I got really drunk. What, what bad decisions? Fess up a little bit. Yeah. What did you do that was bad? Did you, did you, did you blow somebody? 
Um, yes. Oh. You did? Was it somebody that... Oh. Was it somebody you knew? Um, I didn't get his name, no. What a fucking good egg she is. Didn't get his name. Well, give us the details. How did this come about? He bought me a drink. Are, now, is that, is that, you are have you, a son? Are you a mommy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are a mom? Okay. A very young mom? That's you're, your kid. You're a mommy blowing <laughs> strangers well, on, a, you, on a Wednesday He's a cute kid. <laughs> Don't judge her, okay? Yeah, she know, knows what right. she wants. You're blowing right. Blowing strangers on Wednesday What's night. What's the problem? Who are we? There's She's nothing, nothing wrong, with right that. Now. wrong with that. Who are we to judge? No, wait. This is Laura's friend now. Oh, hello. What's your name? I'm Kim. Wait, let's see what uh, the wingman looks like. Yeah, are you on? Are you one of her Facebook friends? Yeah, Kim Smith. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Ah, there's Kim Smith let's right see. there. All right, let's give it a click. And whoa, whoa. wow, hey, fuck Holy Laura. Jesus. Hey, Kim, oh, my you know. God. Kim Smith is a dish. Wow, I tell wait. You, the wingman's going to be taking the lead position, <laughs> and you're going to be dropping <laughs> back on ready Laura, five. You are on deck. Now, yes. Kim Smith, do you Beat have it, a Laura. boyfriend or a kid, or a, what's your deal? <laughs> oh, my God, look how quick Jimmy sells out. Kim. Hold on. I have to ask you a question. Yes. Will you take us out on a date? Of course. Where would you like? He's to... a gentleman. Like a serious question. Where would you? Yes. Where would you like to go, my my angel? Where would you like to go? Let's go to Hooters. Go to Hooters? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I, I was going to shoot too classy. I was going to shoot a little <laughs> higher and take you to a, a finer uh, <laughs> eating establishment. But if you want to go to Hooters, I'll be happy to take you there We're for some wings. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Let's go somewhere nice. Wow. These girls are. What are you guys on? <laughs> Are you doping? Huh. What are your aspirations? What? <laughs> <laughs> aspirations? Pertinent questions. <laughs> it's not a bad question. Where do you see yourself in, in five, five years? years. Oh, with more kids. <laughs> with Jimmy. Married to Jimmy. Wow. Jimmy, married will you to marry Jimmy? her? Now, this is Laura again. Am I correct? No, this is Kim. Oh, oh okay. my God. Wow. Damn, girls are not loyal. Watching. Well, I really? like that. So. <laughs> Yeah, Jeez. Uh, yeah, by the way, when I fuck, I always repeat the phrase, well, aren't you the lucky girl? <laughs> <laughs> Girls love that, that by the way. Awful. They really do love that. Oh, God. Wow. You got a firm ass there, I, don't you? Well, she is athletic. Those are really nice legs. What do you do, oh, what do, you do in the athletic field? Um, well, I run. I go to the gym, obviously. You know, mm -hmm. I have to keep that beauty later. Mm-hmm. I have to keep it tight. Yeah, nice. <laughs> what is well, this whole thing about? You? I don't know. They're just being silly. I don't know what they're, the, just, yeah, they're just, young girl. They're 20, 22. They're just being silly geese. Well, but adorable. I think that they are troopers, though. Yeah. You know? I think they'll follow through. You I, think think so. I believe through. in you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, let me ask you. Obviously, you're unemployed because you're driving home from drunkenness at 830. <laughs> on a I'm, not, I'm not unemployed. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't mean to offend you. Where do you work, sweetheart? I, I'm a cocktail waitress. Oh, okay, you work nights. Okay. Now, how often do you come to? Oh, I got a sound cool. How often do you come to the Big Apple? <laughs> I've never been, actually. Oh, oh well, you should come. But you said you're coming this weekend. I'm coming. If not next week, the week after. What's what? Now, what, what reason are you coming? Do you have something to do here? No, I just coming. Not a dick. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you're coming here for uh, for your pud. Yeah, you're coming here just to get some prick. <laughs> What's the matter? What's wrong with you? What are you, dyke? She wants some prick stuck in her. I can throw, I can throw up. No problem, right? Anyway, yeah. What's wrong That's with you? Hilarious. You don't like that word. I don't, I don't like the faces Jimmy's making when he, say, when yeah. he says it. Yeah, here's the problem with Schumer. She doesn't know what to do with a prick when yeah. he's stuck in her. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Laura, you so come here and I'll teach you how to come. Oh, I'll shove the prick so far oh, in your oh, fucking ears will fold. Oh, Something God. tells me these girls figured out a way to go to New York and not have to pay for a hotel room. Or a yeah. meal. Yeah, or a meal. <laughs> that's right. They found out, they learned All how expensive sudden, New York is. Right. Right. an invoice for daycare. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and they paying for Maltrex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So you guys are going to come and have dinner with me? Because I don't think they're going to talk dirty. I think they're a little shy. But I do think that they are troopers. We are troopers. Yeah. She was actually fingering herself right now. Just the sun of your voice. Uh -huh. All right, let me keep it sexy. I want you to take your fingers, and I want you to put them, put them in your cooter. <laughs> Swish it around in there like you're making butter. Why would she be making butter? Go in circles like an Amish lady making butter. Get in there with your cooter. <laughs> circles, go big, deep circles. 
How wet and sloppy is it? Finger your cooter. Oh my God. <laughs> that is something a girl hears before her throat is slit. Nah, I want you to do this. <laughs> this is not sexy. Yeah, it is sexy. Dun, take, dun. Take, take your finger, put it on your clit, and go like back and forth. <laughs> Flick it. Flick it like it's a roach on your stove. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I just Facebook requested I, one of these girls. You're right, that ladies. That just made me want to go to Amish country. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's. Just some fishy shenanigans here. I think they're just being silly. They're just being silly. And I accept that. I think they're high, but they're down to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guess. There's I think some... we should gamble on this and see if this happens. I want some prick. Uh... Yeah, but you know what? I, someone hasn't accepted my Facebook request. That's no way to get a prick stuck in you. <laughs> she's getting a million right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's right. It's yeah, true. I bet it's, she's flooded. Yeah. Mm. How am I supposed to funnel cum into you? Oh, <laughs> shit. If you don't accept my Facebook request, I can't funnel cum into you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn, man. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ladies, still there? Somebody Their just reminded me. rolling off the road. It's amazing how fucking much trouble we go through for an offered book. All right, she's back. Okay. Let's, okay. let's get to, let's cut to the chase. Is this going down, Laura? Yeah, it's definitely going down. All right, so how do we make this happen? I told you we're coming to New York, and we're gonna fuck the shit out of you. Okay, this is that was Opie. This is Jim. But if you come down here, I'll put you on your stomach, your back, your side. I'll stick a prick in you from every angle. Uh. You'll be full of prick. You'll have a prick in your pussy, a prick in your ass, a prick in your mouth. You'll be all pricked out. <laughs> that is exactly why I will come. Oh, oh she's, she's liking this. She's still in, Jimmy. Yeah. Well. I have your numbers, so I, I can, how do you say, I'll give you a jingle. <laughs> and chlamydia. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God